Week coverage on ESPN, brought to you by USAA. Who's ready for some college football here on ESPN? It is Military Appreciation Night here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We are ready for some midweek action at Waldo Stadium. Northern Illinois come to town, the defending champs. They are taking on the home squad, the Western Michigan Broncos. The Huskies at two and seven, Western Michigan at three and six on the season. If you're the Broncos, you win your last three, you will be bowl eligible here this season. What's up, everybody? Welcome inside the booth alongside my partner. He's Rocky Boyman. I'm John Triffin. Well, the story for both of these perennial powerhouses here in the MAC this season, unfortunately, well, it's been injuries. Both teams decimated by the injury bug. Because of that, their defensive, they've had to step up. Yeah, I mean, both teams have played like four quarterbacks, right? It's been that bad. And while the offenses have been figuring things out, the defenses have really stepped up, even though they've been put in some really tough positions. You know, Western Michigan has 16 takeaways on the season. Northern Illinois had four takeaways last week. So while the offense is kind of getting it figured out, defense is playing well. So for Northern Illinois, their offense, they are down to their fourth quarterback who will make the start tonight. To make matters worse, Rocky, they're without their top two running backs tonight because of injury. And this is the number two rushing attack in the MAC, and they're without Ontario Brown, who's the number eight rusher, Harrison Whaley, who's the number three rusher in the MAC. So it's going to be Jaden Cradle, who's a true freshman. He's played in a few games this year, but this will be his first start. And he's a high recruit, a guy they're really, really excited about. And Thomas Hammock talked about how he's a one cut runner, a slashing kind of runner. They want to get number 21 the ball here tonight. Starting quarterback will be Trayson Borgay making his third career start, the 18-year-old true freshman. Yeah, he's a guy, he's going to run around a little bit, got a little dual threat to him here. And, you know, Tim Lester just liked the fact that he gets the ball out of his hands and seems to really know the offense and really provides some leadership at that position that they haven't had much of this year. Head coach for the Western Michigan Broncos, Tim Lester, in his sixth season. I really enjoyed our conversation with him yesterday because he is as real He's as it gets. Book, right? yeah, exactly. <laughs> he said, this is the situation that we're in. We are hurt at the tight end position. We like to rely on them. We're down to our final tight end because of that. He's had to revamp the offense. We're going to see some new things tonight. And his quote was, we're going to have to be different, right? So I think that means different personnel groups, different plays. Who knows what we may see out of Western Michigan tonight, but I guarantee it'll be fun. Head coach for Northern Illinois, Thomas Hammock. This is his fourth season. He's the defending champ. He is also very real with the situation that we're in. He said, I would equate it back to 2015 when I was with the Baltimore Ravens. We led the league 27 guys on IR. We'd sign a guy on Monday, get him ready for Sunday. He said, we've had to have that next man up mentality. But really, it's been like next, next. Oh, yeah. who else is next up? I mean, get this. 43 players have started the game for Northern Illinois. That's the second highest number in all of college football. So, again, he's trying to figure out, plug and play some guys and keep this thing rolling. Now, to his credit, if you go to practice, you would not notice. Guys are still flying yep. around. They have not given up on this season for the Huskies. Western Michigan has won the toss. They elect to defer. We are underway here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Northern Illinois will call a fair catch, and the Huskies will come out on offense. Nevin Krimiskoli, the fourth quarterback they have used this season. The 18-year-old getting the start. <laughs> he was preseason the sixth quarterback on this depth chart because of some injuries. But, but also, I, I think Thomas Hammock saw some things in practice from Kremenskoli. Really likes, again, in fact, he's a dual threat. He can run around a little bit, has some arm talent. See if he can let it rip tonight. So we talked about he'll be joined in the backfield by the freshman, Jaden Cradle, looking to throw on first down, completes to the tight end, Lauren Sorahan and Sorahan. A good scamper on first down and will get a first down. And, and I love starting off the game for a young quarterback with a nice, easy, high percentage throw. He saw this a lot last week. He was really good rolling out of the pocket, getting outside that thing with a nice completion. The first action of his career came last week in the second series. So this is his first start. Working out of the shotgun will hand off to Cradle. And Cradle met by the wall of defenders from Western Michigan. Loss of one. And you'll see a little bit of everything out of this Northern Illinois run game. You'll see some outside zones, some inside zones, some pin and pull. But what they really like to do, John, is they like to create a lot of gaps. So use a lot of tight ends and, you know, try to 
create a situation where the defense doesn't have a guy in a gap and then they'll hit it. So with the loss, brings up second and 11 from their own 35. And Scully going through his progressions. And he has a tight end again. A huge connection rumbling down into Western Michigan territory. Tristan Tavis with the catch. A gain of 33. And this is a nice job. Look, for a freshman, he's going through. He's going through his progressions. One, two, three, four, some pressure, but keeps the eyes downfield. And then just a nice little lob pass over top of the defender hitting his tight end. Thomas Hammock said, we have not given up. Our guys continue to fight. What a good start to this opening drive for Northern Illinois. And I like the tempo they're using, too. Get up the line, don't think too much, just snap the ball, and let's go. Sorahan, the tight end, goes to the right side of that offensive line. Handoff, and met immediately in the backfield. Andre Carter with the tackle, a loss of two. Andre Carter's been a beast this year. This entire front for Western Michigan is a force, and you know, that's a guy they don't block, but most defensive ends don't have the speed to run him down to that side, but Andre Carter does. Nice play. Lou Esposito, defensive coordinator for Western Michigan. He's got them humming on defense. He really does. Their defensive line and linebackers really, really playing well. Second and 13. Premiscoli pressured, throwing into double coverage, really triple teamed. Incomplete was looking for Kasper Rudikiewicz. Tell you what I like about Kremis Coley so far, though. He, he's not hesitant. You know, he's uncorking that thing. That was a tough throw there, and certainly some defenders in coverage, but you got to be defended. you got to be decisive as a quarterback, especially in this area of the field. The so first third down of the game, it is third and 13 for the freshman quarterback. Imagine Western Michigan going to bring some pressure here on the freshman. Here it is. Here comes the blitz. And the freshman just threw it away. Defensive coordinator Lou Esposito dialed it up. How about bringing seven, right? <laughs> I guarantee you, Kevin Scully has not seen that look yet. Got some linebackers up in the gap, some coming from depth. Getting a good pass rush. Inside move by Marshawn Neeland right there. It's going to force the punt. There he is, Lou Esposito. He was out here yesterday. A ton of scouts. There were three NFL scouts that saw from the, the Lions, the Dolphins, the Bears, and they were all talking to him about their defensive players. Got some good guys. Some Players possibly play at the next level. This would be a 52 yard, excuse me, 53. John Richardson. Kick is up. Plenty of leg. Hey now, John Richardson <laughs> letting it fly a season long. And Northern Illinois is on the board first. And I just assumed they were going to punt from right there and try to pin him down inside the five-yard line. And Richardson kicks a bomb. 54, and it might have been good from 64. There's plenty of fight left in the Huskies yeah, this year. I, I think that just it says a lot about the, the character and the culture of, of your team, right? How much belief is there? And, you know, how, how, how much do you fight? It's easy to fight when things are going well, right? But when things aren't going well, that's when you find out a lot about yourself and your team. What do you think of Nemin Kermiscoli on his first drive here getting the start? I did some good things. And the other thing, too, is, okay, a couple of those completions, you know, the last two throws weren't completions, but he didn't force the ball into, you know, into triple coverage or try to make something happen that wasn't there. So had a couple nice throws, and then one had to, had to throw the ball away when he was pressured. So uh, not a bad first start. Right next to him, that's Rocky Lombardi. He got hurt third game of the season. He was the starter against Vanderbilt. Talked to him before the game. He's really in good spirits. He played less than four games. That means he can technically redshirt this game. He said, yes, I have to fill out some paperwork. But his plan is to come back next year and be the starter again. If you had to boil Northern Illinois, all their problems this year down to one thing, it's been Rocky Lombardi hasn't played. I mean, last year he throws for 2,600 yards, 15 touchdowns, and they win the MAC. Without him this year and some other injuries, it's been tough sledding for him. Well, we've got another freshman coming out starting at quarterback. <laughs> this one for Western Michigan, Trayson Borgay. Yeah, Trayson Borgay, you know, not the biggest guy in the world. Six foot one, 200 pounds. But Tim Lester, again, likes how he can get the ball out of his hand. You know, he felt his offense, his quarterbacks were just holding on the ball a little bit too long. This is an RPO-based offense. You're supposed to see that thing and let it sling out of your hand. And Trayson Borgay is doing a better job of that. Western Michigan will start from their own 25. Head coach Tim Lester said 
the playbook, it is wide open tonight. We have no <laughs> idea what we're going to see out of the Broncos. You could see anything. So this is 10 personnel, one running back, no tight ends in the game. Borgay, swing pass to start it off to Corey Crooms, and that is incomplete. Mm. And that's the thing, as a quarterback, you got to hit the layups, right? You got an easy throw to your best wide receiver, Corey Crooms, to short hop that thing. One thing they were nervous about with this freshman was potentially playing in cold weather. It is beautiful it's out. Beautiful, I know. He does not have to worry about the weather tonight. Second and ten after the incompletion. Now, Borgay will look over to the sideline between snaps to check on the coverage, and the sideline will let him know what to do. Handoff up the middle. That one goes nowhere. Sean Tyler met in the backfield by Ray Thomas, a loss of two. Looks like they had some sort of option play going there. I haven't seen a ton of that, but Ray Thomas just with the penetration. I, and I don't care what run you have called. If you get penetration from that D-line, it's going to stop it. So an incompletion on first down. A tackle for loss on second down brings up third and 12 for this new look Western Michigan offense. Got two running backs in the game here. Do Salam and Tyler in the backfield. Borgay looking to throw on third and long. Has protection, will now be flushed out. Calling out his blockers across the 30. Looking for the marker. He's going to be tackled just short. That was a good tackle by Nick Alvarado. It was a gain of 11. And another freshman making a play for Northern Illinois. Nick Alvarado doing a great job running that thing down. And you got the impression that Western Michigan feels like they can prey on the secondary a little bit, but there was nothing showing there, and then just a great job by the safety, excuse me, the linebacker coming down, stopping it, forcing the punt. So a three and out. Western Michigan, Palmer Domsky will punt that one away. Fair catch is called for by Cole Tucker. And Northern Illinois will come back on offense for the second time, a punt of 36 yards. The Huskies lead it 3-0 over the Broncos. We'll be back to Kalamazoo after this. I draw on players' faces when they're asleep. Mm. Coach, you don't need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan just helps you create an affordable price. It happened again. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. So much wondering. After a disaster, you don't just want something new. You want what's yours. That's why Tide Loads of Hope is expanding to provide clean clothes to more people in crisis. With every purchase of Tide Hygienic Clean, you can help too. Trash. We can't punch this one in. We don't deserve to win. What? <gasps> Looks about 30 yards. Yes, touchdown! It's too much. It's college football with at and 5G. It's never too much. Sorry. Trojans winning? Oh, yeah. We're winning. AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, secure. This week is your chance to try any Subway footlong for free. Like the Subway series menu. Just buy any footlong in the app and get one free. Free monsters, free bosses, any footlong for free. This guy loves a great offer. So let's see some hustle. On a Fansville homecoming by Dr. Pepper. Surprise! CJ. Oh, we weren't expecting you. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Hey, go state. You replaced me with star quarterback Bryce Young. We could never replace you. Here's your Dr. Pepper mom. Mom? <laughs> it's just a silly nickname. <laughs> he came up with dad for me. <laughs> here you go, kid. Huh. They're my family now, CJ. Next time on Fansville. Hey, brother. Get out of my room! Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Buying pants sucks. It should not be this difficult. These just came in. They're the only pant from Fabletics. Four-way stretch, done. Always stretch, you're going to feel the difference. These are X, the number 
smart home laser tag game on the planet. Join team red, blue, or whatever color you choose. The Revolution Blaster has quick slide reload and 300 foot range. With the all new Micro Blaster's built-in receiver, you can play blaster to blaster. The ultra long range blaster has the longest range of any laser X ever, over 500 feet. The equalizer lets you blast multiple opponents at once. You can get the Micro Blaster double set for $29.99 and shipping is free. Batteries not included, extra blasters sold separate, plus the 18 year older to order. True story. Four preeminent programs meet to tip off the season every year. Kentucky, Michigan State, Duke, Kansas. Experience the State Farm Champions Classic begins Tuesday at 7 on ESPN. Welcome back to Kalamazoo, Northern Illinois, with a 3-0 lead over Western Michigan. It is midweek matching at night, so you know anything can happen tonight. Here's our Big 12 ABC Saturday Night Football game presented by Capital One. Undefeated fourth-ranked TCU Horned Frogs in their balance attack head to Austin to take on B. John Robinson, the number 18 Longhorns. Coverage begins 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific, also available on the ESPN app. John Schriffen alongside Rocky Boyman. Northern Illinois kicked a career-long 53-yard field goal. John Robinson on their first drive to take a 3-0 lead. Here's their second possession. On the ground is Jaden Cradle. If you are just joining us, Northern Illinois, who loves to run the ball without their top two running backs tonight, Ontario Brown and Harrison Whaley, they are both out. They're going to rely on the freshman running back, Jaden Cradle. And they really need to get this run game going. They're the number two rush attack in the MAC, and so far tonight they've had that's about three carries for negative yards. Picked up two on first down. Kermiscoli will roll out to his right off the tips of his receiver. And that's going to go incomplete. Went off the hands of Sorhan. Yeah, last drive he was able to just kind of lob this ball over top of the defender. Just a little bit behind his tight ends. And Thomas Hammond talked about wanting to get the tight ends involved in the pass game. Between, I mean, they got about seven of them, right? Compared to Western Michigan, who has none. But uh, they got six tie, uh, touchdown passes amongst the tight ends. So he wants to get them more involved in this pass game. Third and eight for the Huskies. Premis goalie with time. Completes. Trying to make something happen. Nice run after the catch by Cole Tucker. Caught it short of the marker, but ran for the first down, a gain of 11. It's a great job. Now, Western Michigan decides on this third down not to bring pressure. They just rush forward. It's picked up, but look at the eyes going through the progressions, and he finds Cole Tucker, who is his safety valve. The most consistent wide receiver on this team and just catches it a little bit before the sticks, makes a move, first down. Now, Zaire Barnes was there in position, but Tucker made a miss and got the first down. And Tucker's one of those guys who's just kind of sneaky athletic, right? He just got some quickness to him and showed it right there. Isn't that kind of what the Mac's all about? Of course. Guys that are a little small, a little right. undersized, a little overlooked, but they can play some ball. They can play some football, that's right, all through this conference. So new set of downs for the Huskies. Kremiscoli sees the blitz coming from Western Michigan, calling out the protection. Will hand it off. Cradle, that is his best run of the ball game. A gain of eight. Cradle gets up to top speed pretty quick. Downhill, he finds that gap, just finds the daylight quick and hits it. No hesitation, that's exactly what you want out of your running back on that inside zone. So freshman quarterback, freshman running back getting the start for Northern Illinois. It'll be second and two here in Western Michigan territory from the 49. They go back to the ground and look at the patience for Cradle. That is not easy to teach, especially as a freshman. Picks up the first down and gain a four. Yeah, that was a good job. Again, like you said, being patient, but then also being decisive and hitting it. Once that thing opens up, you can see, I mean, close to five yards per rush. That's first in the MAC. And now the, but now they're going to have to do it with their third running back. So far, so good. Tristan Tavis goes in motion, the tight end to the right side of the line. Play fake, Kremiscoli pressured, almost intercepted. That is batted down by Braden Fisk. He has been a monster all season for Western Michigan. Yeah, Braden Fisk, guy who can potentially play the next level. He was an offensive lineman in high school. 
kind of a throwback sort of guy, but it's almost, I think Western Michigan has figured out that Kermit Schooley loves that rollout to his right, you know, so they're bringing some pressure and making that an uncomfortable throw for him because that's something he's done well. I apologize. I thought it was Fitz. That was Marshawn Nealon. They were both there. Nealon was the one who got his hands up on the ball. And Nealon had a nice stop in that first drive as well. So the Broncos showing pressure again on defense from Escoli. Makes an adjustment on the line, and I think we have a timeout first, Northern Illinois. So Thomas Hammock wants to talk things over with his guys. Up three to nothing here in the first quarter. So the season clearly has not gone the way Northern Illinois, Illinois has wanted it to, devastated by injuries, but you gotta love the effort and the start here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think they've come out and started well, considering you have a freshman quarterback, a freshman running back, missing some other key players out there. As you see, there's Rocky Lombardi again, and he's uh, he's always been the first one out there talking with Nevin Kermiscoli, and you know, and Lombardi obviously started his career at Michigan State, played super high level here for NIU last year. I mean, the question is, who, who is going to play quarterback this year when Rocky <laughs> Lombardi went down? Nevin Kremiscoli is the fourth quarterback used by Northern Illinois. And Rocky Lombardi said, I I'm basically now the least paid coach in college football because I've had to coach up the younger guys. On the ground, hurdling a defender, Jaden Cradle showing off the moves, tackled inside the 40, a gain of seven. I mean, it goes without saying. You got a freshman quarterback. You'd love to just keep running the ball and take the pressure off him. But again, another decisive cut. You see the vision. He was coming off the edge there. Almost looked like he was coming to the outside, but saw that gap boop up inside, and he did not hesitate. A bunch formation to the top here. Try to get some sort of rub route. Try to get a wide receiver open. There it is. Four-man rush, Kremiscoli throws into pressure, and he completes it. That was a tiny window, but he found Tristan Tavis a gain of six. He was well covered, but he threw the ball where he, where he should have. And that's low and away from the defender, right there. That's it. Can't have that thing inside. You definitely don't want it high where it gets tipped up and a safety picks that thing off, so it was a better play right there. Kermis Coley. I mean, the linebacker Ryan Seelig, I don't think he could have played that any no, better. He made the swipe on the ball, but that was just a perfect throw. First and 10 to the ground. Cradle hit immediately. Corvin moment. We're going to call that name out a ton. NFL scouts love him. Yeah. Top tackler. Excuse me. In the, in the top tacklers on the team there. 64 on the season. Been making plays around here for a long time, a fifth-year senior. He's another guy that also has some, some next-level potential as well. This will be the 10th play of the drive for the Huskies. Rolling out and just throwing it away. Kremiscoli felt the pressure. It'll be third down. And, and that's the thing you got to worry about when you have a young quarterback and a, you know, guys kind of playing out of position. A I apologize. Bit. That was Justin Lynch in at quarterback. That is the second quarterback we've seen tonight. But, but it's putting together these long drives. That's, what made, that's what's tough on a, on a young quarterback or you know, a team that has uh, some inexperience going. And Thomas Hammett mentioned that Justin Lynch was going to get some playing time. They were going to use both quarterbacks. He only got four plays last week, but uh, in this area of the field, they're liking him. He's more of a runner. Play clock running down. Gets there it is. off. Lynch, he's going to try to run with it. Still pushing. And I don't know. With that extra push, Northern Illinois might have actually picked up that first down. The far side officials marking him a yard short. Let's see where they spot it. So this is just student body left, right? Like the ball, a couple linemen pulling. And just hoping Lynch can find a crease. And he stopped right there, but he keeps his legs going. And then you get the help from Lampy and some of your offensive linemen buddies. And then this is the only call right here, right? Go for it on fourth down. You're a two and seven football team trying to make a play and make something happen on the road. This is the right decision. Northern Illinois, six for 17 on fourth down today. They got them to jump. Here comes the penalty flag. Oh, 
We will hear from our referee Billy Williams for the first time tonight. Full start. Offense. Number 83. Five yard total. Remains fourth down. And, and it was close. I mean, the right side of the offensive line did wind up coming, but I thought Western Michigan it was, had made contact. It's like Fisk had made contact before the right side jumped off, but wow, that's tough. You know, for now, force a field goal attempt. So they called a forced false start on the tight end, Liam Sorhan. So John Richardson will come out. This will be a 46 yard field goal attempt. He knocked it through earlier on the first drive from 53. Clean snap. Richardson. And he pushes it wide right. So after the full start forces him to kick the field goal, no good. Northern Illinois with a 3 0 lead over Western Michigan. Men put their skin through a lot. Day in. Dare. That's why Dove Men Body Wash has skin strengthening nutrients and moisturizers that help rebuild your skin. Dove Men Plus Care, smoother, healthier skin with every shower. Will remain radioactive for years to come. Well, thank goodness it's time for the good news of the week. And boy, do we need it. <laughs> well, this safe driver saved money with the Snapshot app from Progressive. How do you feel? Um good he's better than good he got rewarded for driving safe and driving less sorry Barb just to confirm this is the feel-good news of the week this is what we found yay snapshot can you live with knowing you never tasted McRib sauce you have until November 20th to decide during the McRib farewell tour ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So far, I've raised my credit score 39 points. 127 points. Over 100 points using self. I would recommend self to everyone. It feels really good. You should try it. <laughs> Introducing the all-new one-wheel GT in Pint X. GT, built with more power to crush new terrain. Pint X, twice the range to take on the city. Two new boards to make everywhere epic. Get writing today at onewheel.com. BetterHelp provides various options to connect with your therapist. We can do this via video, we can do this as a chat, we can do this over the phone. Whatever is most convenient for the client is really what's going to help them open up more at the end of the day. Why pay over 100 bucks a month for cable when it's half the cost for Fubo TV? Get all the channels you want, with all the entertainment you love, for the price that cable can't be. Try free at FuboTV.com. I don't like to spend a ton of time shopping, but I like to look good. For me, Poshmark makes that so easy. And whenever I get tired of something, I just relist it back on Poshmark. It's honestly a little addicting. Making some money I can spend, keep my wardrobe fresh. You would think a pan is a pan until Made In came along and I went, wow, these things are something better. Those are the pans that we use at Alinea at one of the best restaurants in the world. It's built for a home cook like me, but fit for Alinea like him. Welcome back to ESPN College Football Prime Time as part of Veterans Week on ESPN, brought to you by USAA. John Schriffen, Rocky Boyman on the call for this one. Northern Illinois with a 3 0 lead. I spent about an hour with head coach Tim Lester yesterday. He was walking me through film as he's installing this new offense. He was watching the 2013 Texas Bowl game between Syracuse and Minnesota. I asked him why this game. He said, Well, I was a quarterback coach at Syracuse for this game. That was the last time I ran a 10 personnel offense. Yeah. I had to figure out what to do because we don't have any tight ends. No today. tight ends, yeah. And, and he loves to use a tight end, loves a lot of 11 personnel, but they don't have anybody at that position. So he, they're just kind of searching for answers. And that's what he said yesterday. We're going to have to be different. We've seen some different personnel groups already so far. Tyson Borgay, the freshman, out of the shotgun, completes it, has a receiver. 
And that's Malik, that's Nate Anderson, one of the freshman receivers that they want to get going. That's completed for a first down. There you go. Start your quarterback's drive off with a nice, easy throw. Oh, had a little zip on it, too. Oh, poor Gay's hand. All right, Rocky, what's the difference between 10, 11, 12 personnel? Explain that for people at home. So the first number is a running back. The second number is how many tight ends you have, right? So 10 personnel would be run one running back, no tight ends out there. In other words, four wads. That's kind of how they do the designations. Borgay wow. completes a pass over the middle. That was a missile to Corey Crooms. That's the leading receiver, a gain of 20. And, and John, I got the impression yesterday that Tim Lesser thinks he can throw on this secondary. And here's the first salvo fired. And he's kind of caught him in, in some man-to-man -man there. And Borgay uncorked one. Nice throw. They move the ball for the first time into Northern Illinois territory. Under six minutes to play in this first quarter. Pass to the outside. That is complete. Nate Anderson, three completions to start this drive for Western Michigan. A first down. Really love the rhythm that Tracy Borgay is in right now. Looks confident. Ball's coming out of his hand. And that's just, it's all confidence. Get a couple completions in a row here. And now I think at some point here, we're going to see Borgay try to take a shot on him. Three completions, three first downs for Western Michigan. So Borgay, he's going to check over to the sideline before every play to make sure that he recognizes the defensive coverage. This is a handoff. Sean Tyler spinning, bouncing, finally brought down inside the red zone. That is a balanced attack for Western Michigan, a gain of 14. It's been all passes on this drive, and so... Northern Illinois on their heels. You see linebackers dropping out. Light box. Let's hand the ball off. And that's how it's done. Well, Northern Illinois, their defense, they've had trouble in the red zone this year. Opponents have scored 32 of 34 trips into the red zone. That includes 25 touchdowns given up. First and 10 from the 16. Borgay fakes the pass. Pressured. Running out of the pocket, he's got some daylight. Tracy Borgay, a 16-yard touchdown run, Western Michigan on the board. Just a great job of recognition by Tracy Borgay. He saw man-to-man -man coverage on the outside, so the defender's eyes are not on him as a runner. Good little pump fake, and then that thing just opens up the red sea parts, and Tracy Borgay showing the wheels. Punching in for the touchdown. Nice, nice job. That is just the 10th rushing touchdown allowed by Northern Illinois this season. The fewest in the MAC. Extra point is up and good by Palmer Domsky. And Western Michigan, their offense looking good. Their second drive, capping it off with a touchdown. Trajan, yep, Trajan Borgay with a nice pump fake here showing he's the guy to lead this offense. TCU, Texas, Saturday on ABC. You want to launch the world's largest streaming channel in over 40 countries all in one go. You want to bring banking to millions of people who've never used a bank. Whew, that's a doozy. You want to make grocery stores without checkouts. You're selling fashion for who? Avatars. Avatars. Buy a car with a text? No. Absolutely not. It's a no. What is happening Are here? you crazy? I'm Capri, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grill Spicy Deluxe is the chicken. You can tell they actually put it on the grill, cooked it in the sauce, marinated it. You're definitely getting a good grilled spicy sandwich. I'll admit it, I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you don't need to get that personal. State Farm Personal Price Plan just helps you create an affordable price. Right. I meant I'm not a bath bomb guy. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We make sit-down chicken, stand-up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. When the details take precedence, the rest falls perfectly into place. We strip away everything but the essential. And what we're left with are thoughtful bedrooms for modern living. Thuma.
Introducing hey, the hey, all-pro hey. passer robotic quarterback. Just pump, press, and pass. Hey, Slam, hey. post, short, long. All-pro passer has nine different passing zones so you can run hundreds of plays. Hey, hey, and hey. it can launch the ball over 25 yards. It's perfect for any park or backyard. You can get your all-pro passer and the TV bonus sticker sheet for $49.99 plus $8.99 processing and handling. Batteries hey, not hey, included. Hey. Must be 18 or over to order only from NSI. It's Macy's Veterans Day Sale with our lowest prices of the season, like the Jolene Sectional $12.99 and Hosting Essentials 20 to 40% off. Plus, get a free adjustable base with qualifying mattress purchase. Now at Macy's. Toys R Us is now open at all Macy's stores. Find the season's hottest toys and everything on their wish list. Toys R Us, now playing at Macy's. Hope you like it, Uncle Chris. Hey, he hardly ever gushes like that. Can you live with knowing you never tasted McRib sauce? You have until November 20th to decide during the McRib farewell tour. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Western Michigan with a 7-3 lead over Northern Illinois head coach Tim Lester talking with his quarterback. And when I was sitting with Coach Lester in his office yesterday, he was physically cutting up the film from that 2013 Texas Bowl game. He showed it to his quarterback yesterday for the first time. This is a newly installed offense. <laughs> that last drive looks like the way they want to run it. It does. I, I got to say, though, John, as a player, I always hated when a coach installed new plays like the day before the game. But, but I think on that last drive, it was more just like it was check with me. Let's get to the line, see what the defense is doing, and react accordingly versus having everything scripted. That last drive for Western Michigan, five plays, 71 yards, two minutes, 10 seconds off the clock. The key for that, all the plays were 10 or more yards. I mean, that's one of the best drives they've had in, in a couple weeks. It really is. Hopefully they can continue that. Now for Northern Illinois, they got a field goal on their first drive. They missed a field goal on their second drive. Here on their third drive, they're going to rely on the freshman running back, Jaden Cradle. And that was the important thing is Jaden Cradle finally got going. Five rushes for 24 yards in that last one. They need him to do some damage in this run game. Cradle. Gets the first carry. He is hit in the backfield, still working, keeping the legs moving. He has shown early on that he is hard to bring down. Those were three tough yards. And it's going to be tough to can have continued success on the ground because Western Michigan, they do so much with their front. Guys moving around, guys twisting, guys lining up here and there. It's just really hard to get a gauge on exactly where they're going to line up, play to play. It's just going to be up to them being consistent. That offensive line just keep plugging away and then up to Jaden Crater will find a little crease and pop it. Under four minutes to play here in this first quarter. Western Michigan up seven to three. Third drive of the ball game for Northern Illinois. Cradle makes a cut, comes back. And he is tackled down. Warren Dabney, a gain of two. There's Lou Esposito, defensive coordinator. I think he's done a great job. He, one thing he likes, he likes to bring pressure. Now he's not going to sit back there and let you dictate the game to him. And let's be real, this Western Michigan has struggled a ton this season. Lou Esposito said, it hasn't worn on our defense at all. We are still with them. Third down and five. Rolling out. That is picked off. A dangerous pass is picked off. Can I Lovely with the interception. Can I Lovely has been a beast the last couple of weeks. Guys making up some big plays and again getting him outside the pocket. But this one is just throwing a little bit across his body and just you know, it's just something he's got to see. He's not seen many pictures. And that's just there's two great jerseys around Cole Tucker there and that's one he he forced. So lovely with the interception gives the ball back to Western Michigan. And let's take a look at this last drive. And here it is. I mean, just rhythm. That would be the word I described that drive here. Borgay finally got in, in the flow here, mixed it up, bunch of passes, then a run. Let's see if they can continue that rhythm here on this one. 
They go run on first down. Northern Illinois brought an extra man into the box. Sean Tyler goes nowhere. I mean, that's going to be the cat and mouse game here tonight is when Northern Illinois brings in the extra guy in the box to stop the run. Can they get those matchups on the outside and complete those down the field throws? That's been a weakness of this Northern Illinois defense. They're secondary. They've given up a lot of big pass plays. Tim Lester and company want to take advantage. So it's actually a loss of one on first down brings up second and 11. Borgay, quick throw on the money again. Again, he's found Nate Anderson. He has emerged as his favorite receiver. That's a gain of eight. Nice job with the route concept. The outside guy goes a streak down the field and see a man to man coverage, get a little natural pick. Nice play. Even though this is a tough situation for this Western Michigan offense with your tight ends being banged up, that means for other guys, this is an opportunity. And if you're a freshman wide receiver, this is your time. Yeah, wide receivers, running backs, it's an opportunity for sure. Third and three. The Broncos 0 for 1 on third down so far tonight. Corey Crooms in the slot. Okay. Put some air underneath it. Incomplete pass was looking for Sambucci. Good coverage by Javon Bird. There's that shot we were talking about downfield. I was watching Borgay before the game. He, he's got a nice arm on. He was standing on the goal line and throwing that ball easily 50 yards with a lot of air underneath it, trying to drop in the bucket on a play like that. So the offense will stay on the field for fourth and three. Corey Crooms is the receiver third from the bottom here. He's the go to guy. Picked up the pressure in and out of the hands of Anderson. He was met immediately by Jordan Hansen. Tim Lester is an analytics driven guy. I mean, he's going to go for it on fourth down a lot. This was a, for him and the book they give out. This is a, a go for it. It's just you got to come out with that. It's the freshman, Nate Anderson. Is that one of those where you're going across the middle and you feel the pressure coming? Probably a little bit for a, for a freshman, especially. You know, but that's that's you know, it's a wide receiver. That, that's part of the job, right? You've got to be able to make those tough catches like that. So now an opportunity for Northern Illinois. They had the interception and force a turnover on downs, and now they get the ball back. So Northern Illinois with their best starting field position of the night. Will start from their own 34. That run goes nowhere. Braden Fisk gets into the backfield immediately with another tackle for loss. And that guy just looks like a football player, right? He's got the cut up armbands around the biceps, got the, the, the brown hood out the back of his jersey, the tattoo. Look at all the scuff marks on the helmet. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's a ball player right there. Love Braden Fisk. Mascoli, quick pass, finds his tight end. Whoa! Almost got away from two tacklers. Bryson Garner held on for deal life to bring down Tristan Tavis. You get the impression that Lou Esposito is saying, look, we're, we're going to take away the run. We're going to try to take away the short pass game. We're going to make, make Cremasoli beat us with a deep throw here because we're not sure he can do it. And here we are on third and seven. We're going to have to put this ball in the air a little bit. 30 seconds to play here in this first quarter. Third and seven coming up for the Huskies. Showing some pressure here. Play clock is at four. Handoff, cradle. And there's that man again. Braden Fisk with the tackle, a gain of three. I'm not sure I love that play call right there. Try to find a mismatch, get my tight end open here, but that's going to force the punt. So that'll do it for the first quarter here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Western Michigan, the Broncos with a 7 3 lead over Thomas Hammock's Northern Illinois Huskies. Both teams banged up by injuries this year, but there is no quit with Northern Illinois and Western Michigan. It's midweek matching. You know, this is going to be a good one. I'm the team mascot, and boy, am I running late.
but I got lead in my foot and spirit in my fingers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, what a hit. And if you have cut-rate car insurance, the cost to cover that might tank your season. <laughs> so get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Old Trapper beefs. One upping. I love Old Trapper. I love how tender it is. Don't forget the wood smoke flavor. Savory beef. Quality ingredients. I'm their biggest fan. Old Trapper. What's your beef? Men put their skin through a lot. Day in, day out. That's why Dove Men Body Wash has skin strengthening nutrients and moisturizers that help rebuild your skin. Dove Men Plus Care. Smoother, healthier skin with every shower. Say hello to Rocket Money, the all-in-one personal finance app. Packed with tools to help you manage and save money, like canceling on you subscriptions with just a tap. They also negotiate lower bills on your behalf. You can create custom budgets and see your net worth in one place. And you can even get your credit score for free. You're ready for a total money management solution then download the Rocket Money app today. The future. The way you see it is said to depend on where you sit. At Xchair, we think it also gets down to how you sit, which is why our technology is light years ahead. Xchair has done it again with our groundbreaking LMAX technology, providing hours of infinite comfort no matter where in the world you're sitting. By synthesizing the universe's elements, bringing hot, cold, and touch into one extraordinary seating experience, our mission is to help you discover that every workday can happen with body and mind in an out-of-this-world place of comfort and productivity. X-Chair is charting a new course, helping workers everywhere find comfort as their work world zoom back and forth. Even though your work reality may continue to shift, we've got our eye on the future of work so you can focus on the present. At X-Chair, we're gazing ahead. And from where we sit, the future still feels good. Visit xchair.com to find out how you can own an X-Chair for only $20 a month. xchair.com. At Simply Safe, your safety is the only thing that matters. We design smarter ways to detect motion for fast emergency response. We create HD cameras so you can see what's happening in your home from anywhere. All powered by Fast Protect technology, exclusively from Simply Safe for faster police response. Because in here, your safety is the only thing that matters. Advanced home security, 24-7 professional monitoring. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Wow. Let's do it. I mean, I want to, but. But what? Dude, you need an upgrade card. It gives me unlimited triple cash back and rewards me when I pay it back. Helps me avoid that. That's cool. And without annual, late, or foreign transaction fees, I can get rewards without the fees. Time for new pastures, buddy. Get your upgrade card at Upgrade.com. Welcome back to Kalamazoo, Western Michigan with a 7-3 lead. Head coach Tim Lester in his sixth season asked him about what he liked about Trace and Borgay. And he said, for the first time, we feel like he is a guy who stepped up and is really our leader on offense. We'll talk more about Borgay after this punt. Fourth down by Northern Illinois. Tom Foley boots this one away. Fair catch called for and caught. The ninth annual Armed Forces Classic is happening Friday on Veterans Day. Michigan State and number two Gonzaga square off on the flight deck of the USS Abraham Lincoln. That's going down in San Diego. Coverage begins 630 Eastern, 330 Pacific on ESPN and the app. Game is just part of our salute to veterans that is happening all week long. That is one of the coolest games of the entire season. That's from that. the 2011 wow. game. That was the first time they did that. You can't miss this one on Friday. It what, is special. What's that ticket cost? I'd love to be at that. Yeah, wow. you can't get on that Boy. one. It is only for the naval people that are stationed in San Diego. That's great. They a do special that salute guys. just yeah. for them. It, it is really a special game. It's the worst starting field position for the night for Western Michigan. The Huskies creeping in. They've got a safety in the box. 
They will go to the ground starting on first down with Sean Tyler. Okay, so back to Borgay. Against Bowling Green, he actually went into the defensive huddle in the fourth quarter on the field and screamed at his guys, said, guys, give me one more shot when they were trailing against Bowling Green. And the defense actually responded. They said, you know what? We haven't seen a leader like that all year. Now, they did get him the ball back. They didn't win the game, but he has really rallied this team, and they feel like he's their guy. Yeah, that's something you want, and, and that can't be forced, and it can't be fake. And you can tell if you're a player, if your quarterback's just kind of faking it out there, but he's got those leadership qualities. Borgay being chased and brought down by Michael Kennedy. That was looked like disaster from the beginning. He brought a little pressure, a little linebacker stunt. Got something out of nothing there a little bit. So that was actually a sack for Kennedy, a loss of one. To your point, Rocky, that could have been way worse. Brings up third and six. Broncos from their own 14 yard line. Borgay pocket collapses and he will step up, makes a cut back to the middle of the field and will tumble down. A first down, Trayson Borgay feeling the pressure. Converts on third down. Borgay's done a great job with his legs and get the covers downfield and you don't worry about the, don't think about the quarterback and him scrambling. Good job picking up that first down, moving those chains. And off is to Tyler, trying to stretch it. And he gets a short gain on first down. So the first drive for Trayson Borgay, he bounced his first throw, three and out. From that first drive to now, what have you seen out of the young quarterback? No, I, I mentioned the, the word I used earlier was rhythm. It looks like he's more in rhythm. You know, he's completing some, the guy had some easy throws on that second drive. He was completing them, and now he's getting some scrambles, some runs. He's all lathered up. He's been hit a little bit. Playing some good football right now. Second and seven, back to the ground game with Tyler. Tyler will plunge ahead. Maybe a gain of three. Nope. Short gain. Gain of two. And I'll bring up third down. The more they can get out of Tyler tonight, the better. Because it gotta be if, if Northern Illinois feels like they gotta bring that extra guy in the box to stop the run, that's gonna open up that pass game for them. Third down tonight in Western Michigan, one for three. Their only conversion was that scramble by Borgay here on this drive. Third and six. Borgay looking left the whole time, has a step. His receiver coming back to the ball. Oh, what a catch! Corey Crooms. It was underthrown, and Crooms waited on it, came back, and hauled it in for a 35 yard pickup. There it is, we talked about it. When they get one-on-one -on -one coverage out there, they're going to take a shot. And look at the re just the response to the ball by Corey Crooms. Ball is underthrown and to the outside. Ball hanging up in the nice sky, and he comes down with it. There's single coverage on the outside. This is what they wanted to see out of that Northern Illinois defense. Go man-to-man -man coverage, and they think they like their shot here. This game goes on. Ball spotted at the Northern Illinois 38-yard line. Fake the handoff, Borgay. Looking as a touchdown, Western Michigan. <laughs> Anthony Sambucci hauls it in. Turn the lights out, because the freshman is working right now. Trayson Borgay put that on the money. Oh, and I love this play, Carter. Again, same thing, you get man-to-man -man coverage here, gonna get deep crossing route you get a flag on the play here but a good job avoiding the pressure and there's the receiver downfield off Bucci comes back for it but it looks like it's gonna Five come back so ineligible receiver on the left tackle wow. Adam Vandervest so they take the touchdown off the board yeah Adam Vandervest is sophomore that's a Man, 
tough, tough break right there. And by the way, they never call that lineman downfield. Never call it, but of course it happens when you get a deep touchdown uh, catch, and Tim Lester's like, you got to be kidding me. That was the first pound of the game on Western Michigan. How about that touch by Borgay, though? Mm. Borgay on the cross, overthrows Crooms, incomplete. This is where Borgay's got to settle down. It's very frustrating. You get a nice deep ball for a touchdown, and it gets called back, and you're a little bit upset. <laughs> you got to find a way to calm down here, compose yourself, and go back to leading this offense the way you've been the last two drives. Three wide receivers at the top of your screen. One at the bottom is Sambucci. Second and 15 for the Broncos. Quarterback run all the way. Borgay cuts it back. Curdles tumbling down. It looked like Northern Illinois was expecting pass there. So just a nice job of catching that thing and running forward, getting a few yards. At least setting up a somewhat manageable third down here, third and eight. On the first three drives, Western Michigan was 0 for 2 on third downs. This drive, a perfect 2 for 2. Corey Crooms in the middle of the, the three receiver set at the bottom of your screen. Third and eight. Borgay flushed out to his left. And he slides down, but when he started his slide, that's where they'll mark him down. And he is short. A gain of five. He's marked down at the 31. Ah, that's a critical mistake there by Borgay. If you, if you lead with your shoulder and you come down, go forward with that thing. But as soon as you start, that's a kind of a new nuance to that rule this year. As soon as you start to go down, that's where that ball is spotted. And so he's going to be well short of that first down when he could have had it. This will be a 48-yard field goal attempt for John. Excuse me, this will be Domsky. Mm. And that is in no good. Field goal is no good for Domsky. And Western Michigan still leads it 7-3 over Northern Illinois here in the second quarter. Ever leave your clothes in the dryer and find a wrinkled mess? Try Downy Wrinkle Guard Fabric Softener. Wrinkle Guard penetrates deep into fibers, leaving clothes so soft, wrinkles don't want to stick around. Make mornings smoother with Downy Wrinkle Guard Fabric Softener. Cut. I've never watched Patrick's practice jersey. Superstitious. Hey, no need to get that personal. State Farm Personal Price Plan it just helps you create an affordable price. Ugh. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Projex, the projecting gaming arcade now with animated targets to blast on your wall. Swap slides for different targets, but stay sharp, they move fast. Projex is portable to play inside or out. Family gaming gets an upgrade. You can get the Projex 2 blaster set and TV exclusive sticker sheet for $49.99 plus $7.99 processing and handling. Batteries not included. Must be 18 or older to order. It's the projecting gaming arcade with animated targets that's a blast to play. It's Projex from NSI. Guys, let's be honest. Buying pants sucks. It should not be this difficult. I'm looking for that one pair of pants that does everything. These just came in. They're the only pant from Fabletics Men. Four-way stretch, done. Always stretch, you're going to feel the difference. The best thing about the only pant, honestly, everything. You almost forget about the deal that you're getting. Same premium quality as Lululemon, but at a third of the price. True story. Four preeminent programs meet to tip off the season every year. Kentucky, Michigan State, Duke, Kansas. Experience the State Farm Champions Classic begins Tuesday at 7 on ESPN. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket. I love how Cricket has no hidden fees, no hidden charges. It's just predictable. With Cricket, I can stay in touch with my grandson as much as I want without being concerned that my bills go up. The 5G is like fast, fast. It makes sharing photos of our projects and video calls super easy. Switch for the speed, stay for the savings. 
smile. You're on cricket. This summer, The Daily Show's all news. Party time. Summer good news. I recently bought the stovepipe hat that was worn by Abraham Lincoln. It's the perfect nacho bowl. Summer not so good news. Pools are closed for the summer? I'm gonna have nowhere to pee. But it's all news to us. Are they supposed to be, like, fully inflated? The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. New weeknights at 11 on Comedy Central. And catch up on demand. 7-3 to three lead on that last drive by Western Michigan. They had a 38-yard touchdown pass taken off the board due to an ineligible receiver downfield. Rocky, walk us through it. Yeah, it was the left tackle, uh, Adam Vandervest. See the bottom of the screen. You get three yards. You can be downfield three yards, but Vandervest is about four, four and a half, and he's on an island, right? There's nobody else down there. It's very easy to see for the officials, and it's a shame because it wiped out a big play, a 38-yard touchdown. So Jaden Cradle will start off this drive for Northern Illinois with an eight-yard run up the middle. And I asked you earlier, I'm wondering, they go with the freshman at running back. We haven't seen anyone else. How long can they keep feeding this man? Cradle's look good so far. I just don't know if they have any other options, right? I think if the next guy in is a, is a former linebacker and a wide receiver, they got, just don't have any running backs left. Second and two, Cradle. Will charge forward and pick up the first down. He picked up four. And, and I think that's why you're going to see some Justin Lynch at quarterback here and there, because he can provide some ground game. Even just from a stamina standpoint, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they're giving it to Cradle all the time here. It's one of those deals. Hey, we need you, man. We got nobody else. Got to be tough. Let's go. First and ten, back to Cradle, makes a jump cut up the middle, gets through the seam, spinning down, he picks up 11. Jaden Cradle showing off all the moves. Been impressed with Cradle. It's just a small little window, here's a great shot, nothing there, then boom. I mean, that vision and the instincts for a running back, you can't teach it, you either got it or you don't, and I think Cradle has it. Keep feeding that man. They go back to Cradle. And a good gain on first down, picks up five. And here you go, they're bringing in Billy Dozier in at running back. And Dozier is a wide receiver, but he did play a little running back at the beginning of the season, so he'll spell Cradle while he gets, gets a blow on the sideline. Rocky, we're in the second quarter. Cradle already has 15 carries for 54 yards. I'm telling you, he may get over 30 tonight. So Dozier, the man in the backfield with Kramaskoli. They do give it to Dozier, and that is blown up. Bryson Garner make a tackle. I told you this defense likes to attack, and this is what I'm talking about. Coming out of the secondary, hit a guy, bang. Don't hesitate, come through. Nice job by Garner. Don't wait to get blocked. Go find that thing. Garner with a tackle for loss, a loss of two. will bring up third and seven. Dozier still in the backfield. And Aaron and out, nobody even in the vicinity. Yeah, I'm not, not sure what was going on there. And even as, if his receiver had streaked all the way down the field, that ball was way overthrown. I think he just kind of threw that thing away. And there's Rocky Lombardi going to talk to him and say, hey, what'd you see? Now, he had a little bit of time. I just think things were well covered on the back end by Western Michigan. You know, Rocky, that was just the first pass of that drive on third and long that will force Northern Illinois out of punt. Well, ever, ever since he threw that interception, they've been a little more, you know, hesitant to let him throw that thing. Tom Foley on to punt. Anthony Sambucci is the deep man. Sambucci will call for a fair catch at the 10 yard line. And that's where Western Michigan will come back on offense when we go to break. Krimiscoli talking on the phone to figure out what happened on that last drive. Western Michigan with the ball when we come back. Football is the game of life, and it brings the community together white, black, boys, girls. Flag, tackle. Football can revive communities. That's why I think, you know, football is on the right path. Community with football is very accepting and loving to people who enjoy the sport. 
Win or lose, they do it as a family. More truck owners are switching to Ram, which means more people behind the grill are switching to Ram. Can you flip that? And more people behind the people behind the grill. More first leg of the road trips. More uncles who take Thanksgiving football games too seriously. And more people who can't resist telling you that the leaves are changing. Leaves are changing. Are switching to Ram. During the Ram Black Friday sales event, get 0% financing plus 2,000 total bonus cash on the 2022 Ram 1500. I'm the captain of the Pee Wee football team. We may be small, but we are... Mighty! Annoying. And you are so tired from playing defense against us that your focus is about to ride the bench. Woo! Go, go, go. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Bye. Come on, come on. And if you have cut rate car insurance, then not even a Hail Mary will save you from paying for this. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Awesome. A dental tool is round for a reason. So is an Oral B. Round cleans better by surrounding each tooth. So clean, you'll feel like you just left the dentist. Oral B. Brush like a pro. Come and get it. Fast project is going to move for us because typically, you know, we'll have a different experience. So. People aren't answering their phones, which just doesn't really make sense. Anyway, and the other thing that we're is like, if you do make it to that point, you can see. I don't like to spend a ton of time shopping, but I like to look good. For me, Poshmark makes that so easy. And whenever I get tired of something, I just relist it back on Poshmark. It's honestly a little addicting. Making some money I can spend, keep my wardrobe fresh. Welcome back to Kalamazoo, Western Michigan with a seven to three lead right now on Northern Illinois. College basketball is back. What a women's college basketball game we got for you on Friday. Leah Boston, defending national champ, South Carolina, ranked number one. They'll take on Diamond Miller and the 17th ranked Maryland Terrapins in College Park. Should be a good, good game. Coverage began 6 Eastern on ESPN2 and the ESPN app. All right, so Monday, I was at Iowa for opening night for basketball. How cool is this? The men's game, they had a doubleheader with the women. Mm -hmm. The men actually went first. The women were the headliner. They actually played second. Iowa number four team in the country led by Caitlin Clark. Very that just shows you how women's basketball has taken over the country. Absolutely. The Broncos with a 7-3 lead here in the second quarter. Borgay, oh, he had a man, Jelani Galloway. If he caught that, he might still be running. I think Galloway uh, heard the footsteps, as they say. I mean, that ball was perfectly thrown in between two defenders. I mean, watch this. this. This is an absolute laser beam. Great throw right there. And I think he just felt that safety coming down and might have hesitated and took his eyes off it just for a split second. The safety gambled because there was <laughs> nobody behind That's him. That's true. Second and ten. They go to the ground. Banging forward with Sean Tyler. So that'll bring up third and manageable. Northern Illinois defensively haven't hasn't brought a ton of pressure on board Gate and I will see what they do here on this third down. And force a three and out here. They're gonna get the ball back in pretty good field position for their offense. to get to the 20-yard line. Third and four. Here comes the pressure. Borgay trying to get away, and he can't. Brought down a sack by Isaiah Greenmay, a loss of six. It's just a great job with some individual rushes. You can see the twist games, and they brought Greenmay all the way from the right side up to the left side, and he finally gets his man down. That's just a great play call there by Derek Jackson, the D coordinator. Love that scheme there. That, that's tough for those offensive linemen to pass that thing all the way off to the other side. By the time that right side 
picks that thing up it is way too late their shoulders are turned and he's gone so Nick Mahalik a short punt fair catch called for by Tucker and Northern Illinois will have great field position when they come back on offense that was just a 31 yard punt 5 11 to play here in this first half Northern Illinois down seven to three Troy, you work here? I'm never not working. Like head and shoulder scalp shield technology, up to 100% dandruff protection, even between washes. Never not working. <laughs> never not working. Never ever not working. Head and shoulder scalp shield, never not working. Why are so many people turning to Super Beats Crystals? Because Super Beats Crystals give you the energy and blood pressure support you want from real beats without the beat taste. This is Super Beats, and I swear by it. It gives me more healthy energy to keep up with my hectic schedule and supports healthy blood pressure. Super Beats is the number one pharmacist-recommended beet brand for heart health support. Inspired by the Nobel Prize-winning discovery of nitric oxide for its important role in regulating cardiovascular health, Super Beats black cherry-flavored crystals unlock the nitric oxide-boosting power of beet nutrients to help widen your blood vessels, supporting healthy blood flow so your body can produce energy more efficiently. That's why over 120 professional and college sports teams use our bead crystals. Because Super Beats not only supports healthy blood pressure, it also promotes energy and stamina for peak performance. I'm Hunter Kemper. I'm a four-time Olympian in the sport of triathlon. Super Beats, it helped me win big races late into my 30s. It's increasing your circulation, and that's why this product is so amazing. Call now and find out how to get a free 30-day supply of Super Beats with your first order. Just one teaspoon of Super Beats gives you the functional benefit of 40 teaspoons of fresh beets without the beet taste. You'll also receive these free nitric oxide indicator strips to measure your results, plus a free travel pack of our delicious Super Beats chews with added grapeseed extract for powerful antioxidant support. Perfect for on-the-go energy. Act now, and we'll even include free shipping and free returns. That's over $30 in free gifts, all backed by our 90-day money-back guarantee. So do something good for your blood pressure and your energy. You'll love Super Beats or your money back. For this special offer, go to superbeatsdeal.com or call 1-800-634-3958. That's 1-800-634-3958. It all started when we showed up in Austin waving a Wazoo flag. Then it kind of became an obsession. After 15 years, game day finally came to Washington State. Now we keep doing it because game day isn't just a day, it's a lifestyle. Black Panther, Wakanda forever. In theaters everywhere this Friday. 5-11 to play here in this first half. John Schriffen alongside my partner, Rocky Boyman. Northern Illinois with the ball back. They have been leading on their freshman running back, Jaden Cradle. I think they got to feed him right now. This is their best field position tonight. Cradle's 15 rushes for 54 yards. Got a little bit of a break that last drive. He's fresh. He's ready to go. Feed him. Best starting field position for Northern Illinois tonight. Kremiscoli will roll out, has his tight end, takes a bump. Tavis. Finally pushed out of bounds inside the red zone. A gain of 20. I mean, this is far and away the, the look that Kremiscoli has had the most success on. It's that play action, rolling to his right, really just seems to have a rapport and finding his tight end. It's a great job, nice chunk yardage play to start this drive. To the ground, cradle. Can't find a hole. Short gain of two. The Western Michigan defensively has been real good on third down here so far this year. In the red zone. Cradle gets the carry. Just a gain of one there, so it'll bring up third and seven. No 
Northern Illinois tonight. They started two of three on third down since they are 0 for 4. And we do have a player down. Looks like that's Bryson Garner. Bryson Garner had a nice tackle for loss on that previous drive. Coming from deep, shooting a gap. So Thomas Hammock, his squad, got a field goal on their first drive. And you see the chart after that, they had a field goal miss. Interception, and the last two they've had forced a punt. Yeah, absolutely critical. Got to get points here, got to get a touchdown. Great starting field position. I got Jaden Cradle out of the game right now. Dozier in. Expect this ball to be put in the air. Third and seven. Kremiscoli looking end zone. Touchdown. Cole Tucker. Yeah, that's a clean man. 16-yard <laughs> touchdown grab. And Northern Illinois retakes the lead. And what a toss by Kremiscoli. Man covers, they call this a seven route, comes up the field and then just finds that hole deep toward the back of the end zone and a perfect ball. That was a confident throw by the young freshman, Kremis How about that route by Tucker, mm. too, to get that kind of separation in the end zone? Richardson, his extra point is good in Northern Illinois with the touchdown. Take a 10-7 lead here in the second in the second quarter. Northern Illinois takes advantage of their best field position of the game. That offense, John, is finally starting to wake up. Great throw to his man Cole Tucker. Husky starting to roll now. On a confrontational fansville by Dr. Pepper. Mm. <clears throat> oh, what's up, guys? We want to talk to you about State not making the playoff. Yeah, tough season, but I'm fine. That's just it. You're not taking it hard enough. What? I'm upset. Why haven't you posted one insane rant on the message boards? I keep reliving the Southern game over and guys, over. Guys, it's just a game. A bunch of kids with the ball. Put down that Dr. Pepper. Maybe there's more to life. Ah, he's lost it! Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. For every holiday, for everyone. Ritz, a taste of welcome. Men put their skin through a lot, day in, day out. That's why Dove Men Body Wash has skin strengthening nutrients and moisturizers that help rebuild your skin. Dove Men Plus Care, smoother, healthier skin with every shower. I draw on players' faces when they're asleep. Coach, you don't need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan just helps you create an affordable price. It happened again. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. For the visionaries. For the trailblazers. For the last to leave. And the first to think ahead. There's Granger. Supplies and solutions for every industry with access to trained experts and 24 7 support. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. I was paying for in flight Wi Fi for months before I finally caught it. Rocket Money uncovers hidden subscriptions and notifies you when a charge is upcoming. From there, you decide if you want that service. And if not, cancel it right from the app with one tap. Download Rocket Money, the money app that works for you. Guys, you've got to stop using soaps that smell like detergent. They're full of harsh chemicals that can dry up your skin and make your man parts stink. Dr. Splash Soap is cold processed, using natural ingredients like shea butter and olive oil with natural exfoliants like sea salt and oatmeal. My dry skin disappeared, and I could actually feel the sea salt digging the dirt out of my pores. And the scents are amazing. My favorites are pine tar, wood barrel bourbon, and coconut castaway. Once you smell this, you'll never go back. Try it today at drsquatch.com. 
Introducing the all-new one-wheel GT in Pint X. GT, built with more power to crush new terrain. Pint X, twice the range to take on the city. Two new boards to make everywhere epic. Get riding today at onewheel.com. It is all smiles right now on the Northern Illinois sideline after the touchdown pass to Cole Tucker from Nevin Krimiscoli. Northern Illinois taking a 10-7 lead here late in the second quarter. That was the best drive by Nevin Krimiscoli. A couple drives ago, he throws the interception. But he started off that one with a nice long yards play to Tristan Tavis and then a beautiful touchdown pass to Cole Tucker. Thomas Hammond said Cole Tucker's got to have a big game, and that was a nice big play. Yeah. Good return for Western Michigan as Trayson Borgay will come back out on offense after a 35 yard return by Sean Tyler. I'd like to see Trayson Borgay get back in that rhythm. We saw him in the second, excuse me, in the first quarter there. His last drive just one for three, had that deep shot pass to Corey Crooms, but other than that, that was it. Had a touchdown taken off the board, of course. Trying to get him back in the flow. That drive where Borgay had it clicking, that was just the second drive of the game. That's when they scored their lone touchdown. But they start off that drive with some nice, easy throws in. Let's start them off with some confidence builders and get that rhythm back going. Play clock winding down. It's at two. Borgay gets the snap out of the shotgun, throwing there right, is. completes it to Nate Anderson. Good job. Always a good idea to start your quarterback off on the drive with a nice, easy throw, get some positive yards. Especially a freshman, right? You know, he's <laughs> still managing emotions out there and the fact that he hasn't seen every look, so give him an easy throw. Second seven, pick up a few yards. Under three minutes to play here in this first quarter. Second and seven. Borgay keeps it, takes the hit, gets rid of it, and completes it to Corey Crooms. Showing off those hands, makes the strong catch, a gain of nine, a first down. Corey Crooms is a go-to guy. The five touchdowns on the air, a little stutter move, put the foot in the ground, and that's that's tough to cover. Good job here. I mean, Corey Crooms one of those guys, just great in the open field, great after the catch, and he's got to have a big game. Four wide receivers set for the Broncos with Tyler in the backfield. Now moves to the left of Borgay. Look at this. Look like a little triple option action. Borgay with the keeper. That's one of those plays they're pulling deep out of the playbook. A gain of one. And it's just one of those things where it's just one more thing for the defense to think about, right? Like, what, what does that look? I mean, what happens if they run that again? And now, as a D coordinator, you're pulling your hair out. And <laughs> what do we do? How do we defend him? That's what Tim Lester wants to do. Keep that defense guessing. Second and nine. Borgay, a strong throw and a penalty flag. Two of them coming in. Was looking for Crooms. The man in coverage, Jay Sean Prophet. Jay Sean Prophet. The pass interference. Trying to take another deep shot. Pass interference. Defense, number 24. 15 yard goal for the previous spot. So they did call the pass interference on Profit. Let's get a look at it, and Corey Crooms is starting to get a, you can see that right arm just gets around the neck. Good job getting his eyes back, and had he not pulled it around the collar there, I think it would have been okay. Didn't need to do it. First and 10 from the 35. Borgay, this looked like a quarterback run all the way, sidestepping a defender, picking up 11, first down. Good job, man covers. Defenders' eyes are on their receiver. They're not on the quarterback. There's no spy out there. And take what the defense gives you. Under a minute 30 to play here in this first half. Ball on the 24. Borgay, quick pass. Hit immediately. Anderson spinning off a defender. A short gain of run. When I talked to Tim Lester, he said essentially what we're doing 
we're going to turn our wide receivers into running backs. Those quick <laughs> throws are essentially runs. As soon as you catch it, put your shoulder down. That's it. Now, that's a tough way to get a yard. <laughs> You're taking some shots on those inside slant routes. You know those linebackers are on a track coming to get you. Nice, nice tough catch. Under a minute to play in this first half, Borgay on the slant route, draped all over his receiver, and Anderson still reels it in. A gain of six. I'll tell you what, here and there during the course of this game, Borgay has made some really nice throws, great ball placement. This is good man coverage. I mean, you know, I, that guy's covered. They put it right between the one and the eight for a nice reception. For West, Western Michigan in the end zone, they've struggled this season. I mean, really, it's been the injuries. They haven't had a full complement of guys, and Tim Lester just trying to find some answers this week, coming up with new plays because things have not gone the way they wanted to. And, and look, I mean, the red zone, that, that's tight end time, right? I mean, offense is college pro. That's where you get those big guys on the field, get your tight ends that are nice big targets. Well, they don't have those guys, right? Blake Bozema and Josh Burgett are out with injuries, so you miss those guys this area of the field. This drive so far, six plays. Borgay is a perfect four of four for 19 yards. He also has two rushes for 18 yards. The freshman starting to get comfortable here in his third start. Dropping back, throwing the fade to the corner. Penalty flags come in again. Crooms came down. No! There's the signal. A touchdown. Corey Crooms. I mean, just an exceptional job tracking this ball. This ball is way up in the night sky. And he had just a little bit of room to get it. Let's see if he was able to keep his feet in bounds before he secured the catch. Before the play, there was some pass interference, possibly. Defense. I told he's declined. Result of the play. He touched that. A 17 yard touchdown pass from Borgay to Crooms. That one was pretty. I mean, watch this throw. That ball was. I mean, look at that. Eyes are up, almost looking behind. Uh, really did he get a touchdown. foot in? I don't think he had security of the ball. Let's watch. Here's going to be a good shot. I think that ball might be moving around a little bit. Now the call on the field is a touchdown, so it's got to be indisputable video evidence. It's just, did, did, he, did he have did he have the ball secure at all? But also, did he get the ball secured before, or as he was able to get that foot in the ground? Does he have that thing? Well, Matthew Conrad is our replay official. This is going to be a tough one because it was called a touchdown on the field. Now, you do see some white beads come up with his right foot as he's going out of bounds, trying to pull. The thing I'm looking Here's at look. is, is he able to secure the ball. Now, it, it's, the ball looks like it moves, but his right hand is underneath the ball. Now, I don't think it hits the ground, but it's just, do they call that? Here we go. Hmm. Did he have possession still in bounds? Now the defenders right there, Jay Sean Prophet, he said, no way. Here's here it is in real speed, Rocky. That's bang bang again. Call in the field. I, I I think they might that might will come back because again the, the, I don't think they had the ball secure and the foot and bounds. I do not envy officials, I'll tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> These guys a tough have one. a tough job. They do a fantastic job all season long. Billy Williams, our referee, Matthew Conrad, our replay official. This is not going to be an easy one to decide. After review. It's been determined the receiver did not have control of the ball while in bounds. Therefore, it's an incomplete pass. 
So the call is overturned, and Rocky, to your point, just did not have possession in balance. The ball just looked like it was moving. Now, you could make the case that the right hand was underneath it, so it didn't hit the ground. I just don't think it was secure. Now, there was pass interference on the play. So Western Michigan will accept that penalty. 41 seconds to play here in this first half. So the ball will be spotted at the two, first and goal for the Broncos. That's the second time tonight Western Michigan and Tim Lester's had what he thought was a, a touchdown. It's wiped off the board, but we'll get another shot here. First down, 41 seconds ago. Obviously plenty of time. Two timeouts. Tyler is the man in the backfield, Timeout. and a whistle before the snap. Northern Illinois, That's going to be a timeout, Northern, 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 Northern Illinois on defense. They're going to talk it over after they got the look at what Western Michigan came out with. Let's check out our Big 12 ABC Saturday night game presented by Capital One. Undefeated fourth-ranked TCU Horn Frogs in their balance attack. They'll go to Austin to take on Bijan Robinson and the number 18 Texas Longhorns. Our coverage begins at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. Also available on the ESPN app. How about TCU sneaking into the playoff picture? If they win out, they are in, but they have got a tough test on the road. They're actually the underdog on the road against Texas. Tough road. they got a clear path to playoff. they got the third-ranked scoring offense in the nation. Undefeated team. I was happy to see them get in that fourth spot. I think it was very well deserved. You win, you're in. But if TCU slips up, I mean, you know, whoever's in the top four right now, that's not the final four we're going to see oh, at the end no. of the year. But, but, but it is important. It does matter. It means something to be there at this point in the season because as we start these, these weeks start to rattle off here to the end, you've got to be in that conversation. All right, here we go. First and goal from the two. Handoff. Tyler. Touchdown, Western Michigan. A two-yard touchdown run by Tyler, and the Broncos go back on top. And that was just, we think our offensive line is better than your defensive line. We're going to run right at you and punch it in. Nice statement run there by Sean Tyler. Palmer Domsky lining up the extra point. And he makes it a 14 to 10 lead for the Broncos with 38 seconds to play in this first half. So Western Michigan doesn't get the call. Call gets overturned, but look, this is just hat on a hat, driving. Look at those offensive linemen on the interior. Guard center guard just pushing white shirts off the line of scrimmage. And then it's just Sean Tyler finding a little crease, punching it in. Nice I mean, job. Tyler ran over his own man. <laughs> he said, right. I yeah. will not be denied. I don't care who's in my way. I'm getting in the end zone. And that's a good job answering for Western Michigan right before half. Now, Northern Illinois had a touchdown drive last series, made it 10 to 7. And, and that's the thing. Look, you know, other teams are going to have success, but it's all about in football. How do you answer, right? They have some success. They have a touchdown. They stop you. And you come back and answer, and that was a nice job there. There was a lot of frustration about the offense for Western Michigan, not being able to produce big plays. We've seen two really quality drives, two touchdowns out of the Broncos tonight. Really have. You kind of got the impression they were saying, look, we, we're going to have to have the, the big play because we don't have, you know, the experience to, to put together a 10, 12 play drive, but they've been able to do it. Run the ball a little bit, a couple nice throws by Borgay. On the board. Western Michigan on that drive. Seven plays, 63 yards in under three minutes. The key on that drive, they had no third downs on that drive. On really either scoring drive they've had tonight. A low squib kick fielded at the 15-yard line. Abdus Salam will bring it over across the 35-yard line. All right. If you're Northern Illinois, one timeout left, 34 seconds. You take a shot, or do you go down by four, take a knee into the half? I, I think, look, you, you might give yourself an opportunity on your first play here, get, get a chunk yards play. If you get something, okay, that determines what you do the rest of the way. Oh, 
Handoff is to Cradle. And is that what you do to make your decision? I think, yeah, I think right there, they seem to be content just to take this thing in. So Cradle with a short run of three. The clock kicks, ticks under 20 seconds. Cradle, another strong run will be stopped at the 45. A gain of six will be a yard short. And that'll do it for the first half here in Kalamazoo. It's been a good one. Both teams have been banged up, but it doesn't matter. They both want the win here down the stretch in the season. Western Michigan with a 14 to 10 lead at the half. And the Broncos will start the second half with the ball. Well, we, we came on the broadcast on the air today and talking about two freshman quarterbacks. I think they both played well, right? And not perfect, but they've each done some things. Each of them have their team in a position to be able to win this game in the second half. I think if you're both head coaches, Thomas Hammock and Tim Lester, you've got to be proud of the fight your guys are showing here tonight. On the national stage, midweek action from Kalamazoo. It has been a fun first half. Western Michigan with a 14 to 10 lead. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Get all your breakfast faves like a sausage McMuffin for just a few bucks, only on the McDonald's one, two, three dollar menu. Meet Leon the third, Leon the second, and Leon the first of them all. Three generations who all bank differently with Chase. Leon's saving up for his first set of wheels. Nice try. Really? This Leon's paying for his paint job on the spot. And this Leon, as a Chase private client, he's in the south of France taking out cash with no ATM fees. That's because this family of Leon's has Chase. Actually, it's Leon. Ooh la la. One bank for now, for later, for life. Chase, make more of what's yours. I'll admit it, I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you don't need to get that personal. State Farm Personal Price Plan just helps you create an affordable price. Right, I meant I'm not a bath bomb guy. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. What is smart? Book smarts? Street smarts? IQ? EQ? Smart is her. It's him. They're in pursuit of purpose. Smart is knowing failure is success in progress. It's finding your calling. It's choosing your place to become. So, what kind of smart are you? Are you ready for some action? Saturday, December 3rd, the best from the East and the West will meet for the 26th consecutive MAC football championship at Ford Field. Now is your time to get tickets to the conclusion of the 76th MAC football season. Get your tickets today at FordField.com slash MAC. It's time to get some action. Sunday, it's the dawning of a new era when the NFL debuts in Germany live on NFL Network. Brady and the Bucks. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! DK and the Seahawks. Puts the ball up, making a catch! Wake up and watch with the world. It's Sunday morning football. Live from Munich. Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, only on NFL Network. With a little help and to support my family's immune health, I choose Airborne. Unlike some others, Airborne gives you vitamin C and so much more. It's an 8 in 1 immune support formula. Airborne, do more. And we welcome you inside the halftime report. More Mac football coming in just a little bit with Roddy Jones. I'm Zubin Mahenti. Let's get to the big story of the week. The official rankings out from the committee Tuesday night. Here's your top four from left to right. Georgia up to one. Ohio State at two. Michigan at three. And TCU moves up to number four. Let's just run through it. Georgia obviously with the convincing win. 
over Tennessee in the game of the year to date. Of course, they're the defending national champions and had all the motivation in the world on Saturday between the hedges to knock off the balls who fall to number five. Right there at number two is Ohio State coming off a less than inspiring win over Northwestern, but the weather was pretty awful. They're still winning their games by an average of 30 points. They're on a collision course at the shoe with Michigan in their final regular season game with the possibility, as remote as it might be, that two Big Ten teams could make the playoffs. Speaking of Michigan, they sit there at number three. They're also winning their games by about 30 points, actually a shade more than that. They've been perfect, but their weak non-conference schedule has some criticizing them, but they do have the goose egg in the loss column. Again, setting up for the huge game against Ohio State, and we know how big the stakes are going to be there. TCU moving up from seven to fourth, but as we know, the committee has not been too thrilled with the team's game control, but for a week, that seems to be on the back burner as the Horn Frogs have moved up to number Four, huge game against Texas coming up this weekend. We'll talk about it in a second back inside the studio here with Roddy. Everybody is waiting with their opinions on the top four. What's yours? Well, well, first off, TCU being at four, I think, is the biggest thing. Uh, and it was a welcome sight to see because we all stumped last week, or a lot of us stumped last week, for TCU to be in that top four because they had that zero in the loss column. But I thought when the committee put Alabama ahead of them last week that a loss by Tennessee – at Georgia mm -hmm. w was going to still have them ahead of TCU. But I think the committee heard what we were saying and took the path of least resistance, putting TCU in that top four, a place where they absolutely deserve because of the gauntlet that they've gone through in the Big 12. So overall, I was pleased with the fact that they're in there. Okay, uh, a team that certainly is probably pleased with where they are at the moment with the ability to rise would be Oregon. They're sitting yeah. there at six. Most of us know that they lost by 46 points in week one to Georgia. It's kind of been an albatross that's been hanging around their season. As we take a look at what they've got left, how do you gauge their chances to make the playoff possibly? I, I gauge them pretty well. I, this is the best team in the Pac-12, and there's enough meat left on their bone for them to get, for them to leap Tennessee and then potentially overcome that 46 point loss to Georgia. Washington, Utah, both ranked in the CFP top 25. Oregon State just fell out in this ranking. Right. And then you're looking at a potential Pac 12 championship matchup with another ranked team. So I really like Oregon. I think they're a balanced team, which you've heard Boot Corrigan talk about over and over right. and over. Mm -hmm. And I really like their chances if they were to run the table to leapfrog Tennessee and get in that top, to, uh, get in that, uh, top four. Yeah, Boot Corrigan, the committee chairman and you're right if they were to get a rematch with UCLA that would be great because they've already yeah. handled them but that could be another quality win we'll see what happens down the stretch nothing more than Washington to squash their hopes <laughs> that great rivalry if the Huskies could take care of the Ducks this weekend that would be something let's run through some of the other really big games this weekend to get Roddy's thoughts Alabama Ole Miss in Oxford Saturday afternoon uh, obviously the Alabama's defense's ability to stop the run for Ole Miss is going to be the biggest story I love the two running backs in this game Quinchon Judkins on Ole Miss side and then Jameer Gibbs on Alabama side they're leading rusher they're leading receiver I think it should be really fun on the ground Tulane probably at the moment is the best chance of getting the group of five New Year's six. Most people probably haven't seen the Green Wave this year. Fantastic defensive football team against a UCF offense that's playing really well. The status of John Rice Plumley is going to be the big question, but Mikey Keene played extremely well. Three touchdowns against Memphis a week ago. This is a really good league, the American, as it is every single year. Tulane, one of the best stories in the country. We mentioned Washington and Oregon. Huge rivalry in the Pacific Northwest. And the quarterback matchup, I'm not sure you're going to find a better one across the country. Michael Penix, the nation's leading rusher. Bo Nix, top 10 in QBR, a Heisman Trophy, Dark Horse. Uh, and, and Washington hasn't played particularly well in this rivalry the past couple of years, but they're going to be looking for revenge and to play spoiler against a really good Oregon team. No doubt, battle of first-year coaches. Speaking of first-year, Sonny Dykes doing his... Great job in his first year at TCU at Texas Saturday night on your local ABC station. And how about this guy? Max Duggan didn't win the starting job out of camp, has played really well this year. But TCU is going to have to stop B. John Robinson. He's got the most 20-plus yard plays of any player in the Big 12. That TCU defense has struggled to tackle at times. And uh, obviously the status of Quentin Johnston is something that we're going to be looking for. That'll be a huge key. College game day will be there once again 9 a.m. Saturday to get you started. And then on your local ABC station at night, Huge game. Don't let the rankings fool you. In Vegas, Texas 
is favored and favored by about a touchdown. You hit on Bijan Robinson. Take us inside the Texas offense. Yeah, well, the Texas offense is built off of obviously Quinn Ewers being able to dish the football. But Bijan Robinson, both in the rushing game and the pass game, has been huge for them. He's been their biggest big play threat. I mean, he's got receiver-like skills when he's uh, when he's catching the football. He's got great lateral quickness, and his explosiveness is really impressive as well. Quinn Ewers third in the Big 12 in QBR. And I think they're sort of finding their way. The key for TCU, though, is going to be stopping Texas on third downs. Their three losses were their three worst games in terms of third downs uh, converted. They only converted 18% against Oklahoma hmm. State a few weeks ago. So stopping Texas on third downs is going to be huge for a TCU defense that struggled to tackle in space and been a little slow to start a lot of games. Okay, not struggling, not slow is Max Duggan. It took him a while to get here. All the attention is on Quinn Ewers, and we get it, Quinn Ewers. But this kid, Duggan, has been incredible. He has been, and I think the maturity at his age and experience has been really impressive. He's thrown the ball down the field really well. I think his running ability isn't talked about enough. Big, strong runner. You saw the clip against Oklahoma earlier where he's running away from defenders. But his ability to have his guys go out and make plays, to dish them to, to, to the great receivers that they have, including, including Quentin Johnston, and then manage the offense when that run game gets going. Because Kendra Miller in that rushing offense has been one of the best things about this offense, about this team this year, and one of the more underrated things, one of the more less talked about things about him. Yeah, last thing I would just say is, remember in the very first college football playoff, TCU finished at six thought they should have been in there now they're sitting at four and maybe they'll hang on again number four TCU 18 Texas Saturday morning live from DKR and it'll be seen on your local ABC station second half is on the way with downy infusions let the scent set the mood Feel the difference with Downey. Ever wonder why they call it the American dream and not the American goal? Derek Jeter. Or plan? Maybe. It's because in dreams, you can do anything. In dreams, you can hold your entire world in the palm of your hand and turn time inside out again and again. And you can do it all with your eyes wide open. I'm a team mascot, and boy, am I running late. But I got lead in my foot and spirit in my fingers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, what a hit. And if you have cut rate car insurance, the cost to cover that might tank your season. <laughs> so get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> This week is your chance to try any Subway footlong for free. Like the Subway series menu. Just buy any footlong in the app and get one free. Free monsters, free bosses, any footlong for free. This guy loves a great offer. So let's see some hustle. You want to launch the world's largest streaming channel in over 40 countries all in one go. You want to bring banking to millions of people who've never used a bank. Whew, that's a doozy. You want to make grocery stores without checkouts. You're selling fashion for who? Avatars. Avatars. Buy a car with a text? No. Absolutely not. It's a no. What is happening Are here? Are you crazy? BetterHelp makes therapy accessible to all for a number of different reasons. Sometimes people are looking for that relatability. They're looking for someone who looks like them. I work with clients who are coping with anxiety, depression, and grief. What's most important about working with these clients is really leaning in with a lot of curiosity. I became a therapist to help other folks in the LGBT community. Being able to share parts of your identity with your therapist can be really important. You would think a pan is a pan until Made In came along and I went, wow, these things are something better. Those are the pans that we use at Alinea at one of the best restaurants in the world. It's built for a home cook like me, but fit for Alinea like him. 
I don't like to spend a ton of time shopping, but I like to look good. For me, Poshmark makes that so easy. And whenever I get tired of something, I just relist it back on Poshmark. It's honestly a little addicting. Making some money I can spend, keep my wardrobe fresh. Explore your passions. Turn dreams into realities. Get involved, connected. Bring your ideas, innovations, and artistry to life where your education is affordable, where you can make a difference, where you are welcomed, inspired, and challenged, where you can be a Husky. It all begins with a visit to NIU. We are at the half here in Kalamazoo, Michigan, Western Michigan, with a 14 to 10 lead over Northern Illinois. Nothing like some midweek action. What's up, everybody? Welcome back inside the booth. Alongside my partner, who's Rocky Boyman. I'm John Schriffen. Well, we knew we would have two freshman quarterbacks starting for both teams. We weren't sure how well they were going to play. But so far, that first half, that was pretty pretty good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been pretty well. I mean, you never know what to expect with freshmen. How are they going to react, especially in a midweek matching game? But I think they've overall done a good job taking care of the football. And both offenses have struggled the last three, four games getting anything positive going. I think both those freshmen have done just that. Let's start off with Northern Illinois. Their offense led by their freshman quarterback, Nevin Kremaskoli. Yeah, Kremaskoli has done a good job here. You know, going doing a good job of sorting through his progressions. Really got him comfortable rolling on that play action pass, rolling him out. Able to find his tight end, Tristan Travis, across the middle here. And then he gets a touchdown later on. But you can see the comparison is pretty much even there, right? Other than, you know, the interception there by Kremaskoli here. They've done a good job taking care of the football. Trayson Borgay, the other freshman, had a strong first half. He yeah, had did a good job with his legs, too. Just two rushes, but 27 yards, and then the touchdown here. I think he, when he's gotten in rhythm, he's hit those short passes, hit a couple deep ones here. But then, yeah, when he has to, he can tuck that thing down, punch it in. So I still think it comes down to who can continue to take care of the football and give their offense a chance. We've got a good one here at Waldo Stadium. Just a four-point lead for Western Michigan at the half. We will kick off the third quarter when we come back. Men put their skin through a lot. Day in, day out. That's why Dove Men Body Wash has skin-strengthening nutrients and moisturizers that help rebuild your skin. Dove Men Plus Care. Smoother, healthier skin with every shower. I've never watched Patrick's practice jersey. Superstitious. Hey, no need to get that personal. State Farm Personal Price Plan, it just helps you create an affordable price. Ugh. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Yo, my name is Luis, and the little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the different flavors that are hitting your mouth at every millisecond. You get the explosion and the zestiness of the chicken, then that spice just kicks in, and if you had that cilantro lime, perfection. When selling your home, one wrong move can cost you thousands of dollars. Homelight has detailed stats on local real estate agents so you know you're getting the best, one who will sell your home fast and for a great price. Start for free at homelight.com. When the details take precedence, the rest falls perfectly into place. We strip away everything but the essential, and what we're left with are thoughtful bedrooms for modern living. Thuma. Projects, the projecting gaming arcade now with animated targets to blast on your wall. Swap slides for different targets, but stay sharp, they move fast. Projects is portable to play inside or out. Family gaming gets an upgrade. You can get the Projects 2 blaster set and TV exclusive sticker sheet for $49.99 plus $7.99 processing and handling. Batteries not included. Must be 18 or older to order. It's the projecting gaming arcade with animated targets that's a blast to play. It's Projects from NSI. Let's do it. I want to, but... But what? <laughs> Dude, you need an upgrade card. It gives me unlimited triple cash back and rewards me when I pay it back. Helps me avoid that. Nice. Are you ready for some action? Saturday, December 3rd, the best from the East and the West will meet for the 26th consecutive MAC football championship at Ford Field. Now is your time to get tickets to the conclusion of the 76th MAC football season. 
Get your tickets today at FordField.com slash MAC. It's time to get some action. It's Macy's Veterans Day sale with our lowest prices of the season, like the Jolene Sectional $12.99 and Hosting Essentials 20 to 40% off. Plus, get a free adjustable base with qualifying mattress purchase. Now at Macy's. Toys R Us is now open at all Macy's stores. Find the season's hottest toys and everything on their wish list. Toys R Us, now playing at Macy's. Hope you like it, Uncle Chris. Hey, he hardly ever gushes like that. If you savor every saucy bite of your McRib like it's your last, you've properly prepared for the McRib farewell tour. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We're watching Veterans Week coverage on ESPN, brought to you by USAA. Western Michigan up by 14 to 10 over Northern Illinois at the half. A cool scene at the half here on Military Appreciation Night. Six students at Western Michigan enlisting in the armed forces. Take a listen. According to regulation and the uniform code of military justice. So help me God. Congratulations. Welcome to the United States Army. How about that? That gives Ladies you chills. Western Michigan University is proud to A round of applause to those young men and women who just enlisted in the different branches of the U.S. Armed Forces. A special scene here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We kick off the second half. A short kick. Fair caught. John Schriffen alongside my partner, Rocky Boyman. Man, that legitimately gave me chills. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was cool. I mean, talk about some young men and women out there going to go serve the country. That's, I mean, that's big time stuff. Love it. So a strong first half for both Northern Illinois and Western Michigan. Trayson Borgay with his second start, excuse me, his third start of the season will come out with a first ball on offense. And talk about the offense. Nate Anderson, the freshman wide receiver, Corey Crooms, that's their go-to guy. Strong first half for both of them. Yeah, both of those guys, and we, we talked about the half. I think Trayson Borgay has done a nice job tonight, you know, taking care of the football and distributing the ball around a little bit. So they left the T on the field. A good catch by the officials. Can't have that lane out there. And one thing we've talked about, Western Michigan just kind of throwing First a lot down, out there offensively. Different personnel down. groups, different alignments, different schemes, seeing some option looks, some RPO, four wides, a little bit of everything. So the Broncos will start from their own 25. They go to the ground. Bouncing outside is Sean Tyler. He's got some room. Gets by one man, eventually pushed out of bounds by Jordan White. Sean Tyler showing the moves. A 50-yard gain. And I don't care what level it is, you've got to have an edge to your defense. And you've got to force it back inside. And C.J. Brown, the safety, didn't do the let it get outside of him. And if he gets outside of you, your, your buddies can't get there. Just force that thing back in. That's where the cavalry's coming. But look at the speed down the sideline. Way to start this second half off. Yeah, 29 yards rushing in that first half. He just run up for 50 yards. They go back to him. They've got something working over that right side, but we do have a penalty flag thrown behind the play from the referee. I like the thought there. It worked the first time. Let's run it again. Holding the offense, number 72. 10 yards holding the previous spot. Replay first down. So that's 72, the right guard, Dylan Deathridge with the hold. And Sean Tyler's going to get to go to the sideline, get a little bit of a breather here. How about the job of Tim Lester? Yeah. Trying to figure out something. Yeah. 
And, and that's the thing. This is offense for, for his first five years. They averaged 35 points a game. But with, you know, just kind of the injuries and things they've had, it's down a little bit. Pressure and it going down. Ball came out. And Northern Illinois comes away with it. That ball was knocked out by James Esther. And a fumble recovery. The defense stepping up. That's Isaiah Greenmay with the recovery. Talk about responding. Western Michigan first play goes for a 50-yard run. I mean, look at that. What a great job there by Esther. Just getting slippery, popping that ball out. And Greenmay picks it up. And this is one where that's kind of a rookie mistake there by Trajan Borgay. You've got to feel that pressure and throw that ball away. Absolutely cannot take a sack strip in that situation. It's the first play in the second half. They go to the ground with Jaden Cradle. And that second quarter, Cradle really emerged. That's a gain of 11 for a first down. They were riding him big time in that second quarter. Absolutely. We talked in the first half about there are two stud running backs, Ontario Brown and Harrison Whaley, the number eight, number three rushers in the MAC coming in. Both those guys hurt, so it was going to be Jaden Cradle, the freshman, getting his first start. Had a nice first half, starting the second half off with a bang as well. That's 36 plays on offense from Northern Illinois. 20 of them have been on the ground. That's 21 plays as banging forward is Cradle. The freshman's going to feel this tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. But I'll tell you what I like, John, is you know, he's one of those guys sometimes, especially as a freshman, you, you want to hit the home run, right? So what do you do? You bounce out and you go backwards a little bit. He seems to always be trudging forward. He knows that, hey, if I, if I can just pick up three yards here, that's a win. Doesn't always have to be a home run. So where is the man down for Western Michigan? And a good sign to see Ware get up to his feet. But Northern Illinois, this offense, depending on the run game, big shoes to fill for Jaden Cradle. Yeah, you can see Harrison Whaley, 97 rushes for 648. Mac play, and boy, I got to see Carson Seal firsthand last week. He ran all over Kent State. He is a beast out there for Ball State. Davis, the man in motion. They go to Cradle. Another strong run on second down. He'll be a yard short of the marker after a gain of five. You know, you got to give a lot of credit to Thomas Hammock and the coaching staff for Northern Illinois. You're on your fourth quarterback. You're without your top two running backs. And this is just a four-point ball game. Yeah, I mentioned earlier, they've had 43 players start a game, right? I mean, that's the, I mean, talk about something you never expect coming into the season here but I mean, especially I think Thomas Hammock a former running back has got to like the way they've been running the ball here tonight even with their third string running back on third and one they fake the handoff and will roll out wide open inside the 10 yard line a nice play drawn up a gain of 31 yards on third and one. An impressive run. What a great play call by Eric Eisenhuis, the offensive coordinator. You got the feeling Western Michigan was thinking run all the way. This is going to be a run off to the left by Jaden Cradle and the bootleg off it. Finds a fullback wide open. Brock Lampy. And you're a fullback. You don't get many touches. No. But when you see daylight in front of you, you get excited. I mean, look how excited he is, boy. <laughs> you say you don't get to touch that ball much. A lot of it is dirty work and blocking. Well, he got a nice, uh, nice throw in the open field. Great. You just got to deal with the cards you're dealt, right? That's right. That's all you can do. It's been tough for both teams this year in terms of the injury bug, but the coaching staffs have gotten creative. We have Fisk, who is the injured man who is down for Western Michigan. And that would be a big time loss if Fisk has to miss any time. Looks like he's going to be okay. But he is the man in the middle. Really does a good job in that interior line, shutting things down. Oh, 
So after the huge run after the catch, it'll be first and goal from the seven. Ozi Haji Badri is the backup who will come in to try to plug the middle for Western Michigan. Handoff. Cradle. And he has stood up at the one. Here it is. Look at this. Gonna hurry up. Try to snap another play here. I love that first play call. Get the running back out of the pistol, and he is coming downhill with a lot of force behind him. Great game. Second and goal from the one. Back Same to play. Cradle. And he gets in the end zone. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Back and forth we go, and the Huskies, they retake the lead here in the third quarter. Same play, two times in a row. If it works the first time, scramble, get back up the line and do it again. Watch those white jerseys. Pushing the gray jerseys back. Yeah, that's what you like to see. That's what Thomas Hammock likes to see for sure. Oh, Jaden Cradle getting on the board. Young freshman has done a great job so far. Gets a touchdown. Richardson is on. His extra point is up and good. By going no huddle, they kept Fisk off the field on defense for Western Michigan. That middle was wide open as Cradle on that last drive. Five rushes, 27 yards, caps it off with a one-yard pl touchdown plunge. And Northern Illinois back on top with a lead here in Kalamazoo. For everyone from players to parents, football offers unlimited growth with even more to learn. Visit futureforfootball.com to get ahead of the game. Find out where to play, what equipment to use, and get the latest from leagues around the country, including pro tips and parental info from the experts. These resources make it easier than ever to create your plan and make your play. Yeah. <laughs> What's that all about? You gotta spice it up. Mm-hmm. Mm. Get all your faves like a McChicken for just a few bucks. Only on the McDonald's one, two, three dollar menu. I'm the captain of the Pee Wee football team. We may be small, but we are mighty. mighty. Annoying. And you are so tired from playing defense against us that your focus is about to ride the bench. Go, go, go. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Come on, come on. And if you have cut rate car insurance, then not even a Hail Mary will save you from paying for this. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Awesome. Super Emma just about sleeps in her cave. But when we realized she was battling sensitive skin, we switched to Tide Hygienic Clean Free. It's gentle on her skin and out cleans our old free detergent. Tide Hygienic Clean Free. Hypoallergenic and safe for sensitive skin. On an angsty fansville by Dr. Pepper. Wow, Dr. Pepper zero sugar? Yeah, stole from my parents. Oh, you think you took quarter drink regular Dr. Pepper? Derek. I bet you think it tastes good, huh? Yeah, I think I'll be the judge of that. It's delicious. I told you. What's wrong about you, bro? It's okay. I think I was projecting my insecurities on your soda. Derek, you're oversharing. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Why pay over a hundred bucks a month for cable when it's half the cost for Fubo TV? Get all the channels you want with all the entertainment you love for the price that cable can't be. Try free at FuboTV.com. Say hello to Rocket Money, an all-in-one personal finance app packed with tools to help you manage and save money, like canceling unused subscriptions with just a tap. If you're ready for a total money management solution, then download the Rocket Money app today. Undefeated TCU. Got a Big 12 matchup. November college football with all the pressure of the playoff chase. TCU, Texas, Saturday on ABC. Northern Illinois with a touchdown here in this third quarter, taking a 17-14 lead over Western Michigan. Well, Midweek Maction from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Thomas Hammock, such high hopes coming into the season, coming off of a championship in the MAC the year before. But his quarterback, Rocky Lombardi, went down with an injury, third game of the season against Vanderbilt, and things kind of unraveled since. But 
There's been no quit out of his Huskies, and this has been an outstanding ball game tonight. Short kick, fair catch called for. Western Michigan will get the ball back down by three. Here's a Big 12 ABC Saturday Night Football game presented by Capital One. Undefeated, fourth-ranked Horned Frogs, TCU. They got a balanced attack. They head to Austin. It is a tough place to play. Taking on B. John Robinson and the number 18 Texas Longhorns. Coverage begins at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. Also available on the ESPN app. Take a look at the latest rankings in the college football playoff. TCU sneaking up to the fourth spot. Tennessee now on the outside looking in. Yeah, I mean, Georgia made a statement, right? Clear, far and away, the number one team in the country. I mean, they to start the season, they blew out Oregon and then a statement win against Tennessee and the, one of the best offenses in the country. Well, I was happy to see TCU Going deep in. off the fingertips of Sambucci. He got behind the defenders, but Borgay just overthrew him. Mm. What do you like to have? Again, we talked about, I think Tim Lester felt like the weakness of this Northern Illinois defense was their secondary, and if he got some one-on-one -on -one opportunities, they are going to take advantage just a little bit out of reach for Sam Bucci. Second and 10 from the Broncos, 25. Northern Illinois brings the rush. And Tyler is stopped for a gain of one. Let's take a look at that last play. Jelani Galloway, the wide receiver, he took a huge hit. Oh, oh. Keep your head on a swivel. Man, that is Jordan White, the safety. Let you know as a wide receiver, you always got to be aware who's coming down. Got to feel those guys out there like that. Can't be taking too many shots like that. Third and nine. Borgay has time. Aaron and out, single coverage. And here comes the penalty flag. Was looking for the freshman Malik Dudon, and in coverage, that was Eric Rogers. See, I think they're going to get Eric Rogers for pass interference, but this ball, I mean, you can make an argument. Is this thing catchable? Way underthrown. Pass interference. Defense. Number 12. 15 yard penalty for the previous five. That's the third pass interference call against Northern Illinois tonight. I mean, he's definitely got his hands on the jersey and didn't really get his head back turned around for the ball, but. I mean, what, what, did he impede his ability to come back to the he ball? He was trying to come back. Yeah. And White never turned his head and had his hands all over. That's the thing. Right. If his eyes were back to that ball and it happened, mm -hmm. nothing would have been thrown there. But if you don't get your eyes back to the quarterback, those officials are going to throw the flag. Quarterback keeper and Borgay goes nowhere. Ray Thomas with a tackle for loss, a loss of one. Ray Thomas has made a few plays tonight. And that's really where Borghese had a lot of success around the football off of that right side there. It was a good job by Thomas shutting it down. You know what's interesting? Trayson Borghese started as a lower on the depth chart this season. His brother was also a backup quarterback. He's, his brother's now the starter at Arizona State, and Borgay is the starter at Western Michigan. His family's got to be proud right yeah. now. Hey, your mom and dad, you start the season, both your kids are backups, and now all of a sudden, boom, middle end of the season, they're both in there starting. Borgay. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Jordan White. Hello. See it here. Comes back here. Didn't seem to be any contact to the head or neck area. Separate the ball from man. It is good to see Nate Anderson just get up. He is now being looked at on the sideline. 
White, man, he's got a couple of monster hits already. Well, he has. He's now healthy and playing some of his best football this season. Third and 11. Borgay looking for some blockers. And he'll be taken down short of the marker. Brings up fourth down. Still think about that hit by Jordan White. It, it was clean. Led with his shoulder, Led just displaced shoulder, yeah. the ball from Nate Anderson. Hit him in the chest, didn't hit him in the head, and that's two you know, big shots that mm. Northern Illinois' defensive backs were able to lay on this wide receiving core for Western Michigan. Mahalik will punt this one away. Tucker will retreat and let that ball go into the end zone. A 53 yard punt. 9.06 to play here in this third quarter. Northern Illinois with a 17 to 14 lead here in Kalamazoo. We'll be back after this. I love what Downey does for my sheets and towels. But did you know Downey provides seven benefits for your clothes, like making them softer and fresher. Plus, Downey fights fading and stretching. Make your laundry softer, fresher, and look newer longer. I draw on players' faces when they're asleep. Mm. Coach, you don't need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan just helps you create an affordable price. It happened again. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Generic Viagra and CVS costs $45 per 100 milligram tablet. But with a newly announced program, you can get the exact same tablet for as little as 87 cents. All doses, including the 100 milligram dose, are priced the same under this program. The program is called Friday Plans, and over 10,000 men in the United States have already signed up. The supplies are limited, so the program is capped at 18 tablets per person per month. To get generic Viagra under this program for as little as 87 cents each, call the number on the screen. You don't need a previous prescription for generic Viagra to sign up. You don't need health insurance. All you need to do is answer a few questions about your medical history online. It takes less than two minutes to complete the whole process. A doctor will review your answers and write you a prescription if appropriate. In just a couple of days after that, you get FDA-approved generic Viagra delivered straight to your door in discreet packaging. The consultation is free, and the shipping is free too. Spots are limited under this program, so secure your spot today by calling the number on the screen now. With Friday plans, generic Viagra usually costs $1.99 per tablet for any dose. But if you sign up today, you'll get an extra $10 off. That means you can get a 9-tablet package for just $7.91, or just $0.87 cents per tablet. At CVS, that same package retails for $291, but you can get it today for just $7.91. So far, the comments and feedback for generic Viagra and its active ingredient, Sildenafil, have been outstanding, with thousands of American men having posted glowing five-star reviews online. One user wrote, This is the answer for me. Cheap, effective, reliable. I'm having my 19-year-old moments in retirement. This pill may have saved my marriage, wrote another. One man summed up his feelings about making the switch to generic Viagra by saying, I only wish we hadn't waited so long. So you really don't want to miss your chance and should take advantage of the Friday Plans program while it's still available. Claim your nine tablet package today by calling the number now. Don't wait until it's too late. Call today. Welcome back to Midweek Maction. You're watching ESPN College Football Prime Time as part of Veterans Week on ESPN, brought to you by USAA. John Schriffen alongside my partner, Rocky Boyman. If you think Northern Illinois has quit on this season, just take a look at my man, Jordan White. <laughs> hey, got to lay the physicality out there. Look, it, it, is, it is legal to make big hits in college football. He doesn't use the crown of his helmet. He doesn't hit the head or neck area of the wide receiver. He separates ball from man. That's just a good football play. And that's something, again, those wide receivers will think about next time they go across the middle. Love it. So worst starting field position so far today for Northern Illinois. They start from their own 20. A speed burst up the middle by Cradle. He gets six on first down. Cradle five rushes for 27 yards in that last drive. He's no, no sign of getting tired or beat up from Cradle, the young freshman, doing a great job. Cradle is now 100 yards rushing on the ground. They give it back to him on second down. He goes nowhere. Good stop there by Corvin Moment. 
We talked about coming in Northern Illinois, this number two ranked rushing offense in the MAC. They're without their two best running backs, Ontario Brown, Harrison Whaley, Jaden Cradle's done a nice job in their absence. Now, is this just a product of this Northern Illinois offense, or do you think Jaden Cradle has star potential? I think he has star potential. Remember, he was a high recruit. He was a guy they were really, really excited, but they were able to land there. But in this offensive line, you got Thomas Hamrick as your head coach. You're, you're going to run the football, and your own line is going to push people off the line. Third and four, to Cradle wow. ducks his head. How did he get through there? Wait, ball comes out. Western Michigan's pointing. They think they have it. Who comes away with the football? It's going to be Northern Illinois ball. Let's take another look and see where that ball came out after Cradle rush for the first down. Cradle gets from zero to top speed quick, and he just needs a little sliver of daylight here. It's hard to see right there. It looked like it was Dorian Jackson who ripped it out. There, there, the ball Ooh, comes out. That ball's out. We better snap this thing quick. Wow. So first and ten. Cradle. No, excuse me. That is the backup, Billy Dozier, on the run. So it looked like Northern Illinois got away with one there, unless they caught his. Well, they got drivers. the ball. They recovered the they fumble. Recovered. So okay. Northern Illinois got back on top of it. Couldn't see who, who jumped on it. And that's very fortunate. But Jaden Cradle mm, looking real good tonight. So Cradle, after getting a one play blow, will be back in <laughs> there. Back in. We need you. Get back in there. Fullback goes in motion. Second and six. Mascoli looking to throw, he's looking for his fullback. Oh, that is picked off! That is a pick six. A house call for Zaire Barnes. We do have a penalty flag at the 25 yard line. And I think what happened is somebody for Western Michigan knocked Nevin Kremascoli out on the sideline. So a lot happening on that last play. The officials are going to sort it out. Here's the call. After the interception, unsportsmanlike conduct, number one of the return team, the 15-yard pull to be assessed from the spot of the foul. First down, Western. So the key was it was after the interception. So it'll be Western Michigan ball, first but after the interception, an unsportsmanlike penalty called against Andre Carter. Rocky, let's take a look. Six, so I mean, what an incredible job by Zaire Barnes. Time in the jump, I mean, that's right in his lap. So he was behind the play after the interception. Let's see if we have another angle. Here, Here's a different this. look. There was somebody from Western Michigan took a shot at Kremaskoli on the sideline here. See, so he's out of bounds. Oh, right there. There it was. It was Andre Carter while Kremaskoli was out of bounds and and there's no need for that no because to do it. he's 20 partner, yards down the field. Your partner yeah. Barnes is about to score a touchdown. I mean, what a great job of time in that jump. And Andre, I mean, right there, he just decides he's going to take a shot at the quarterback. And that's going to get called, you know, 25 years ago. Yeah, on a turnover, you look for the quarterback and try to knock him out in today's football. They're not having it. They start on the ground and. That's the second touchdown taken off the board right. for Western right. Michigan because of a penalty tonight. If you're the Broncos, you hope that doesn't come back to haunt you. Yeah, and yeah, instead of a touchdown, now you get the ball. You know, here on about the 35, 36 yard line. And just, that's just a mental error right there by Andre Carter. Did not have to do it. Clearly was going to be an uncontested touchdown. And now you make it tough on your offense. Second and seven. Tyler will make his way to the 34 yard line. A gain of three will bring up third and short. And 
Northern Illinois on defense so far this season in the MAC, they're allowing their opponents to convert almost 50% on third down. Tonight, Western Michigan, just two for seven. That's under 30%. Northern Illinois has been stepping it up on D tonight. We, we talked about it at the top of the broadcast. These defenses are stepping up while the offense is figuring it out. That's just another way the Husky defense is doing that. Third and four. Looking to throw. Porque off his receiver was looking for Sambucci. The Huskies, they brought the pressure. They sneak a linebacker in. A little delayed blitz there. Look at this. Fourth down and four. Tim Lester's going for it. Again, an analytics driven guy. They have to get to the 30. I, I think this is a smart call. You're kind of no man's land here. They just got to convert. Here comes the blitz. Borgay pressured, still on his feet. Avoids the defenders. Oh! He's got a first down and more. Trayson Borgay looked like he was going to be sacked. Turns it into a gain of 13. <laughs> that was one of those no, 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 yes, right? I mean, they bring the absolute house on this play. Looks like he's dead to rights in the backfield. Shakes two, three tackles, and then able to scramble for the first down. I mean, that was almost going to be a just a terrible situation for Western Michigan. You get the points taken off the board, no positive yards for your offense, and your quarterback bails you out with a nice scramble. Not only was he not sacked, Isaiah Greenmay had a chance to hit him for it without getting to the first down, but he whiffed on it. Tyler, here comes a late penalty flag behind the play. A gain of four for Sean Tyler. Let's see what the call is. Offense, number 87. 10-yard holding for the spot of the foul. Hey, this the Western spot. Michigan offense has just had some critical bad penalties, right? Especially their offense. They've been driving. It's been a holding call, taking them back. And Tim, Tim Lester says, look, guys, it's already hard enough, right? We're playing with a freshman quarterback. We don't have any tight ends. And we're just killing ourselves here. So after the holding penalty, backs him up 10 yards. Back to the 31, first and 20 for the Broncos. They're going to feed Tyler again. Stiff arm gets by one defender, but taken out low by Jordan Hansen, a gain of five. Sean Tyler's had some tough yards tonight. Giving him enough just to stay balanced, which is what you have to do. Not put everything on the shoulders of your quarterback. Tyler on the night, approaching 100 yards on the ground. 14 carries for 96 yards. Four wide receivers set here on second and 15. Borgay, fade pass to the end zone. And just overthrew Corey Crooms. Now the coaching staff says about Borgay, that is his best throw. He loves that fade but just a little too far away from Crooms. Tell you what, you ask any young quarterback, they, they love that fade, right? Love that deep ball. No, no young quarterback can say, yeah, I like that, you know, the skinny post, or I like the out route at three yards. No, they like to launch that thing. That's what these kids do, man. And they grow up anymore, they're playing flag football, they're throwing the ball early in their career. They like to let that thing loose. Borgay in the first half was nine of 14, over 100 yards. So far, the second half has not completed a pass. He is 0 for 4. And this is now the longest third down to go at third and 15. Borgay looking in zone this time to Sam Bucci. Got him. Touchdown, Western Michigan. A 26-yard touchdown strike. And just like that, the Broncos go back on top. We well, missed on the deep fade to the right side of the field, but then it comes back and just drops an absolute beauty in the bucket to Sam Bucci. Look at this. I mean, that's good coverage. And, you know, that's about as good a job as you can do covering. That was J J Javon Bird, but a perfect throw there. Hit Sam Bucci in stride. That's a big time throw. 
by that young man right there. Look at Sambucci give his quarterback a big hub. Sambucci, he is one of the toughest guys on this team. That was his first catch tonight. A 26-yard touchdown reception, but we do have a couple penalty flags. That's why the officials are talking. The result of the play is the touchdown. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number two of the defense. That 15-yard penalty is assessed on the kick. So we'll now attempt the try. So that was an unsportsmanlike conduct on Javon Bird of the defense. And Javon Bird was one who was beat for the touchdown by Sam Bucci. Look, that's perfect coverage. Let's see what happens here. So Sam Bucci did the Allen Iverson step over. Yeah, but, but you know how it goes, John. It's always a second guy, right? And yep. get the second guy and uh, Javon Bird with a penalty. So the extra point is good. Western Michigan takes a four point lead up 21 17. How about that throw by Trayson Borgay? Yeah, almost disaster for Western Michigan. Get the touchdown taken off the board. Offense can't get much going, but then Trayson Borgay finds Sambucci for the touchdown. I'll admit it, I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you don't need to get that personal. State Farm Personal Price Plan just helps you create an affordable price. Right. I mean, I'm not a bath bomb guy. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. For every holiday, for everyone, Ritz, a taste of welcome. here there's no shortage of beautiful things but when you have the capability to go anywhere and do anything you realize there's nothing more beautiful, beautiful than freedom shop and buy online with jeep eShop, and now during the jeep black friday sales event get 1000 bonus cash allowance plus no monthly payments for 90 days on the 2023 jeep grand cherokee when you're feeding 500 people every day there's no room for error that's why I love Made in Cookware. As a chef and a restaurant owner, I'm as meticulous about my cookware as I am about my ingredients. Each pan they make isn't just designed to perform, it's crafted to last. But cookware is just as important on nights where I'm feeding three. As a mom, I love that I can trust Made in. It's made from the world's finest materials, so I can feel good about what I'm feeding my family. At Simply Safe, your safety is the only thing that matters. Every 15 seconds, our professional monitoring agents receive a call for help. Police are on their way. They use Fast Protect technology exclusively from Simply Safe to capture evidence and verify a threat is real so you can get faster police response. Because in here, your safety is the only thing that matters. Advanced home security, 24 7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. There's no safe like Simply Safe. A promise is a trust not to be broken. Whether spoken with an oath. Do you solemnly swear? It's your first day. You know I got your back, right? Or seal with a pinky. In 1922, a group of soldiers launched USAA with a promise to take care of their own. And after 100 years, we're still taking care of the military community. That's our mission. Always. I'm gonna help you. Um, I wanted to mail this. Okay. Layla is our messenger pigeon. What? Oh my god. This is mostly secure. Mostly. Fairly secure. Yes, sir. This is crazy! You know what else is crazy? That SMS text that he's sending? It's unencrypted. Other people might see your text just like other people might see that letter. You're kidding. No. Western Michigan takes the lead 21-17. That's our fifth lead change of the night, but take a look at this scene in the break. Northern Illinois head coach Thomas Hammock getting fired up on the sideline, bringing everybody together. This team is 2-7 and seven on the season. Who's with me? Who's with me? <laughs> I, I think he said, look, we're, we're in this game, right? You mentioned five lead changes. 
you know, I, I just think he's saying, look, we're giving this team some opportunities here and there, but if we can shore things up a little bit, we can win this football game. A short catch, short kick, fair catch called for. You know, Rocky, forget the records of these teams. This is what college football is all about. Oh, yeah. You've got two teams who are banged up, going deep on the depth chart, and this is one of the best games of the season. I, I think it just speaks a lot about the culture of your team, right? Both Thomas Hammond, Tim Lester, you know, not as much to play for at this point in the season, but look, you come out there, you're fighting. He's all lathered up, ready to go, and then we see Justin Lynch back in the game. And remember, he's a little bit more of a running quarterback for the Huskies. So Lynch, we did see him earlier today. This is his second appearance. He will hand off to Cradle. Side steps gets two on first down. I think at some point here, Justin Lynch is going to keep that thing. Just ride that fake down there hard and keep that thing off the outside. He's an explosive runner. Do you like this quarterback change at this point in the game? I, I think it's good just to get a little bit of a change up here. I, I still think Memphis. From school, he's got to be the guy. The changeup ain't bad, then. Cradle will run again for two yards on second down. Will bring up third and six. And here's a quarterback change. Nevin Kremaskoli will come back onto the field for third down. And also Jaden Crater out to bring in Billy Dozier. Remember, he's a wide receiver guy and playing running back tonight with all the injuries. A critical third down here. After Western Michigan takes the momentum to go up by four. Let's see how Northern Illinois responds. Big hit, incomplete. Bryson Garner delivering the hit. And that'll bring up fourth down. And it's just good recognition. I mean, this drag by the tight end has been open much of the game here, coming from the other side. And they've hit that tight end, Tavis, on a lot of those crossing routes there. But credit the recognition. Taking that thing with a nice big hit. Bryson Garner and Jordan White for Northern Illinois. The safeties, <laughs> they have come up huge tonight. I just love it. It just shows you, you can play physical. You can lay big hits in college football and not draw penalties. It's able to be done. Tom Foley is on the punt for Northern Illinois. Kick fielded at the 34, met immediately. Nice job on special teams by Northern Illinois. No return on that punt. We have the ninth annual Armed Forces Classic happening on Friday on Veterans Day. Michigan State and number two Gonzaga square off on the flight deck of the USS Abraham Lincoln in San Diego. Our coverage begins 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific on ESPN in the app. Game is just part of our salute to veterans that is happening all week long. Here are some notable games on the schedule as we salute our veterans this week. One of the best weeks of the country. I mean, we should be saluting our veterans every single week yep. of the year. Absolutely. It's a good job getting to see. We've got to see some of them inducted here, right? Yeah, that was special. Forces, that was special. Now, for Western Michigan right here, this is a critical drive. You go down and score, I think you can start to suck the life out of this Northern Illinois team. A good cut, finding the hole in the middle for Sean Tyler. He picks up five on first down. This does feel like a really big drive in this big ball drive, game. Big drive, yeah. I mean, this is a battle of wills here, but if the Broncos can go down here, score, you know, go up by 11 points. I, again, I just think, you know, in a season where, you know, it's been kind of a tough go, you can really make it tough on a Northern Illinois team to hang in there. Bourget fakes the handoff on the slant route. What a tough catch in traffic. Malik Dudon, the freshman, picks up 10 yards. That was not easy. And this is a laser beam to do Don. I mean, that thing has got some steam on it, and he just snatches it out of the sky. Tell you what, those quick slant routes, Borgay's been on the money most of the night. 
Jordan Gandy was literally all over him, and it didn't matter. Under a minute to play here in this third quarter. Play action, taking a shot, downfield! Oh! Dudon almost came up with the highlight catch. Look at the effort by the freshman wide receiver. Dudon's got that speed to take the top off the defense here, and he's got a step on Jordan Gandy. Just can't quite haul it in. Like that ball placement, though. Tim Lester did tell us before the game, his two freshman wide receivers, Malik Dudon and Nate Anderson, they're going to be special, and we've seen them yeah. highlighted tonight. Or, you know, Sky Moore <laughs> did a great job around this place for a long time. Now he's making some plays with the Kansas City Chiefs and just a, some new receivers in that long line of great ones here at Western Michigan. Second and ten. Strong throw across the field over the head of Nate Anderson. Incomplete. It's good to see Anderson back on the field. I mean, he took a monster hit, mm. and he shook it off. Some Northern Illinois rotating about five fresh bodies into the game here on this critical third down. Getting some more pass rushers out there. See the Broncos offense tonight. They are met their season average and we're still here in this third quarter. Got to figure some sort of route concept down the bottom of the screen here. There's three. Oh, Ball yes. is loose. And Borgay wisely will just fall on top of it. How about the job by Northern Illinois on defense responding after Thomas Hammock brought his team together in a huddle. They're going to force a punt. They certainly play with a lot of fire on that drive. Western Michigan was, was rolling a little bit. And then you get the incompletion. And then the Aaron snap just way off to the left to Borgay. Fortunately, he falls on it here, but that's not going to force a punt. The ball back to Thomas Hammock and these Huskies. Talk about having the pulse of your team, knowing exactly when to push the buttons, when to fire them up. Here we go. Thomas Hammock saying, look, it's the fourth quarter, guys. Let's go. We can win this football game. Keep a camera on Thomas Hammock because he's going to fire him up. We are going to the fourth quarter. Western Michigan with a four-point need over Northern Illinois. This is midweek action at its finest. Come on back. Black Panther, Wakanda forever. In theaters everywhere this Friday. Cut. I've never watched Patrick's practice jersey. Superstitious. No need to get that personal. State Farm personal price plan, it just helps you create an affordable price. Ugh. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You want to launch the world's largest streaming channel in over 40 countries all in one go. You want to bring banking to millions of people who've never used a bank. Whew, that's a doozy. You want to make grocery stores without checkout. You're selling fashion for who? Avatars. Avatars. Buy a car with a text? No. Absolutely not. It's a no. What is happening Are here? you crazy? Men put their skin through a lot, day in, day out. That's why Dove Men Body Wash has skin strengthening nutrients and moisturizers that help rebuild your skin. Dove Men Plus Care, smoother, healthier skin with every shower. Laser X, the number one home laser tag game on the planet. Join team red, blue, or whatever color you choose. The Revolution Blaster has quick slide reload and 300 foot range. With the all new Micro Blasters built in receiver, you can play blaster to blaster. The ultra long range blaster has the longest range of any Laser X ever, over 500 feet. The equalizer lets you blast multiple opponents at once. You can get the Micro Blaster double set for $29.99 and ship is free. Batteries not included. Extra blasters sold separate. Must be 18 or older to order. Hi, I'm Dana Lash from The Dana Show. Let me ask you something. Do you ever think about your circulation? Well, you should, because it's super important. Healthy circulation is important for your blood pressure and your energy level, too. That's why I drink Super Beats every day. 
and I know you'll love what it does for you too. It helps increase circulation to give you the energy and blood pressure support you want from real beets without the beet taste. Super Beets is the number one pharmacist recommended beet brand for heart health support. Inspired by the Nobel Prize winning discovery of nitric oxide for its important role in regulating cardiovascular health, Super Beets black cherry flavored crystals unlock the nitric oxide boosting power of beet nutrients to help widen your blood vessels, supporting healthy blood flow. My name is Dr. Joseph Curita. Before I would ever give a product to a patient, I tried on myself. So I started taking Super Beets and I said, wow, Super Beets is a game changer. It helps dilate blood vessels. It helps increase my circulation. It's having a beneficial effect on my heart and my energy. It makes me healthier. Call now and find out how to get a free 30-day supply of Super Beats with your first order. Plus, these free nitric oxide indicator strips to measure your results. You'll also receive free shipping and free returns. And listen, you have nothing to lose because it's guaranteed. If you don't love Super Beats as much as I do, you'll get your money back. For a limited time, we'll even include a free travel pack of our delicious Super Beats chews with clinically studied grapeseed extract to help promote normal blood pressure nearly two times more effectively than a healthy lifestyle alone. That's over $30 in free gifts, all backed by our 90-day money-back guarantee. This Super Beats offer isn't available in stores, so call or go online right now. For the special offer, call 1-800-851-5013 or go to superbeatsdeal.com. That's 1-800-851-5013. It's been a great game so far here in Kalamazoo, Western Michigan, with a 21-17 lead over Northern Illinois as we get ready for the start of the fourth quarter. John Schriffen alongside Rocky Boyman, Western Michigan, getting set to punt this one away on fourth down. Just a great stop by Northern Illinois, getting the ball back to their offense. Now they have an opportunity to make a statement drive here. That was a strong punt. Do they get to it? And... No, it oh, went into the no. end zone. A 56-yard punt. How does that happen? Special teams could not down it inside the five. And they had an opportunity. That throws the ball back. And you got to stay in the field of play. Can't go down right there. There's nothing else. Throw that ball back again. It would have been the longest punt of the season, but on the net, it's going to come out to the 20. So the Huskies down by four. They start on the ground. Ooh, that was like a video game right there. <laughs> Jaden Cradle just mashing buttons. Some Marshawn Lynch spinning right. Dreadlocks flying in the air. <laughs> Love it. I, I've just been really impressed with him. I, I, he's been, again, right there, you see it decisive with his run. Decisive cuts, not kind of pitter patter. And where do I go? One cut and you hit it. 30th carry of the night for Cradle. He's got 119 yards on the ground. He's going to need the ice tub, but John, that's tomorrow. We, got, we need you right now. Let's go. <laughs> Second and one. Guess who? Back to Cradle. And he gets probably two, enough for the first down. Just always like when people get an opportunity for them to take advantage without Whaley and Brown in the game. And look at that 31 rushes, 121 yards, one touchdown. You know, and Sean Tyler doesn't, his numbers are pretty good as well. He's given that offense some balance. Cradle will get another carry as he's brought down close to the 35, a gain of four. You know, that's what another thing I love about the Mac. You get the national spotlight during the week, and you never know who's going to step up and have the big game. Tonight is the freshman running back, Jaden Cradle. Yeah. Never know who it's going to be. It's up to you to make the most of your own opportunity. Back to Cradle. No sign of wearing down. He will pick up three. It'll bring up third down. <laughs> He's going to top 40, right? He's going to get the top 40 rushes on the night, I think, before this thing is over. Now we'll bring the fullback 
Brock Lambie back in, and also Cole Tucker. And then, yeah, now Kratos is going to get a break. So you like to think that this is going to be a pass here. On third down tonight, there's Cole Northern Tucker. Illinois, 5 for 11. Bottom of the screen, Cole Tucker, that's the go-to guy. They need to get three. Here comes the pressure, it's picked off! Andre Carter tackled inside the 30 as he spikes the ball. And here comes the penalty flag. That's gonna be for celebrating. And if it's not Andre Carter, he's the one that got the penalty that took the score off the board that Zaire Barnes had. Really on the field is an interception by the defense after the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number one of the return team. That is the second for disqualification. And exactly they were trying to get a pick route here. First down. Right to get Cole team. Tucker with a pick and then Brock Lampy into the flat. But Western Michigan's defense was not fooled. I mean, trying to get the pick and. Let's see here. Well, first we're getting here's the interception. But wait for the spike. There it is. You just can't do that. I mean, you just absolutely can't do that. And those are two just critical mental errors by Andre Carter. That's three interceptions tonight by this Western Michigan defense. Two unsportsmanlike penalties on the return. And because that's his second unsportsmanlike, he's Done. gone. He's yeah. thrown out of this ball game. So now in a, in a four point game, Western Michigan is going to be playing with that one of their best defensive linemen. And there's Lou Esposito. He's got to be upset. Western Michigan's done a lot of fantastic things tonight. The penalties, though, they can't be happy with. On the ground. That's Sayer Abdus Salam with the carry. Let's go back to what you just said there. It's been hard enough, right? Offensively to get things going. You got a freshman quarterback and you're having a lot of injuries and it's been tough sledding offensively. Now you're making it even harder on yourself. You're taking scores off the board, you know, getting penalties, driving your starting field position back. Tim Lester said, come on, guys. Quick throw to the outside. Caught. Trying to get to that marker, and he does get the first down. Wow. Corey Crooms, a tough five yards, but he will move the sticks. What an incredible second effort there by Crooms. Picking up the first down, get a fresh set of downs. If you're just joining us, Western Michigan has been plagued with injuries this season. Trayson Borgay, the true freshman, making his third start of the season. They only have one tight end to go with, so they have to go with different formations, new offense tonight. But they have a four-point lead here in this fourth quarter. Here comes the pressure. Big Ray Thomas plugging the hole up the middle again. A loss of one. With the second and third tackle for loss by Thomas tonight. <laughs> right in your living room. Right there coming at you. Big number four has played well tonight. The running back just disappeared in his <laughs> He's arms. He's gotten golf. <laughs> that is a big Gone. man. Second and 11. Borgay, that ball is tipped at the line by, guess who? Ray Thomas. And Borgay was trying to take a shot to Anthony Sambucci right down the, the seam, but Thomas got a fall on that thing. Look, you'll see, I think, coming to the side of the screen there, there's Sambucci. It's tipped. Talk about that action up front, because I'm watching the defensive line for Northern Illinois, and it looks like all four guys are just switching positions, trying to make it tough for the yeah, O-line. Yeah, they're doing some stunts, and as an offensive line, you got to pass that thing off. And you, if you go this way, you got to know the other guy's coming back, and, you know, it's just tough in the, in the blink of an eye sometimes to pass those things off. That's why they're doing it. Third and 11. 
Borgay will try to take off, but he will be stopped at the 29. That was of all three of defensive linemen stunts to the right, canceling out those gaps, got up field and stopped Borgay on the rush. So Palmer Domshi will come on. This will be a 46 yard field goal attempt. It's a ball is out and they were trying to fake it. It, it, looked, it like, looked like a toss. It looked like it was one you've seen it before, right? Where the, the holder gets it and tosses it over his head to the kicker, scrambling to the outside, but just oh, terrible execution. Timeout. Tim Lesser tried to get fancy there and it jumped up and bit him. Here's another look at that fake field goal attempt. They tossed it over the head, but he just tosses a little bit short and low to the ground there. And now Northern Illinois with another big stop. Ball goes back to their offense when we come back. I draw on players' faces when they're asleep. Coach, you don't need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan just helps you create an affordable price. It happened again. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. are for everyone, everywhere. If you savor every saucy bite of your McRib like it's your last, you've properly prepared for the McRib farewell tour. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. On a Fansville homecoming by Dr. Pepper. Surprise! CJ, oh, we weren't expecting you. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Hey, go state. You replace me with star quarterback Bryce Young? We could never replace you. Here's your Dr. Pepper mom. Mom? <laughs> it's just a silly nickname. He came up with dad for me. <laughs> Here you go, kid. Oh. They're my family now, CJ. Next time on Fansville. Hey, brother. Get out of my room! Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. It all started when we showed up in Austin waving a wazoo flag. Then it kind of became an obsession. After 15 years, game day finally came to Washington State. Now we keep doing it because game day isn't just a day, it's a lifestyle. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket. With my Cricket plan, everything is consistent. It's always going to be the same price. No worries. Cricket is easy, it's affordable, customer service is top notch. That's why I've been with them for so long. I got my phone from Cricket and it's amazing. As a journalist, I use it for basically everything. Great phones, great deals. Now that's a story. Smile, you're on Cricket. Mm, what could get these guys going? Who wants burgers? Ooh, what you got there? <gasps> It's the DQ Signature Stack Burgers menu. Oh, that is five tasty burgers right there. Oh, there goes the spicy flamethrower and loaded A1 Signature Stack Burgers. Yes. Go, Mom. Go, Mom. And there goes the rest of them. Woo! Go, Mom. Hey, don't worry. You're still the cool mom. Thank you. DQ, happy tastes good. Get it delivered at DQ.com. One about the decision to go for this fake field goal, but if the holder, Nick Mahalik, makes this toss, Domsky actually would have picked up the first down. Yeah, I think he rushed. He just kind of went real quick and tossed it over his right shoulder. Now, I, for the record, I still don't like the call right there. Kick the field goal from 46. He's already hit a 49. Go up by a full seven points. Officials time out. We have a player uh, down for injury. Northern Illinois. Looks like it's the right guard, Logan Schernitz.
And you hate to see this for anybody, but especially the offensive line for Northern Illinois, who's been so good tonight opening up holes for Jaden Crandall. So Schernitz having trouble putting any kind of pressure on that left leg will be helped off the field. It's a big loss for his offensive lines played so well, but in Nevin Kremerskoli, first half, did a pretty good job. 102 yards, touchdown in the second half, not so much. The two huge interceptions. So a change of quarterback, Justin Lynch is back in the game. This is his third appearance here tonight for Northern Illinois. He comes in on second and four, under 10 minutes to play here in this fourth quarter. Let's remind everyone, remember, Western Michigan without Andre Carter, who was booted from this game for two personal fouls. I mean, that's a big loss there. He's the anchor on that defensive line. Andre Carter on the last drive. Came up with the interception, spiked the ball, got an unsportsmanlike penalty, his second of the game, which got him ejected. Handoff up the middle. Nice push by that defensive front. And that'll bring up third down off of gain of one. Ryan Selig was there on the stop. A huge play right here. Third down. Western Michigan can hold him here. They're going to force a punt, get the ball back in good field position. You know, this game is kind of shaping up to be one of those. Whoever has the ball last yeah, might win this thing. It really is. And with Justin Lynch in the game, you, you like to think it's going to be a run. Now, Thomas Hammond wants a timeout. Timeout. Northern Illinois. They're first. So Northern Illinois so will a call a timeout. timeout. Their first timeout here in this second half. And we'll step aside with them. Western Michigan up by four, third and three when we come back. The game is changing for the better, I think faster probably than it ever has before. Athletes change, the equipment needs to evolve with them. Data always wins and data always leads. It'll also inform how technique is coached into players. That makes it more fun and exhilarating because you know for the next generation of players there's going to be something new. Hi, I'm Capri, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Girl Spicy Deluxe is the chicken. You can tell they actually put it on the grill, cooked it in the sauce, marinated it. You're definitely getting a good grilled spicy sandwich. Bull Trapper Beefs, last bag. You know, there's plenty for both of you. Old Trapper, what's your beef? I'll admit it, I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you don't need to get that personal. State Farm Personal Price Plan just helps you create an affordable price. Right, I meant I'm not a bath bomb guy. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I don't like to spend a ton of time shopping, but I like to look good. For me, Poshmark makes that so easy. And whenever I get tired of something, I just relist it back on Poshmark. It's honestly a little addicting. Making some money I can spend, keep my wardrobe fresh. Introducing hey, the hey, all hey. pro passer robotic quarterback. Just pump, press, and pass. Hey, Slam, hey. post, short, long. All pro passer has nine different passing zones so you can run hundreds of plays. Hey, hey, and it can launch the ball over 25 yards. It's perfect for any part or backyard. You can get your all pro passer and the TV bonus sticker sheet for $49.99 plus $8.99 processing and handling. Batteries hey, not hey, included. Hey. Must be 18 or older to order only from NSI. Over 100 million Americans have a low credit score. Self is a new way to build credit that doesn't require a credit score. Plus, Self helps you save money every month and reports your payments to all three credit bureaus. Download the app today. Buying pants sucks. It should not be this difficult. These just came in. They're the only pant from Fabletics. Four-way stretch, done. Always stretch, you're going to feel the difference.
Justin Lynch staying warm on the sideline with injured quarterback Rocky Lombardi. He's been so integral to these young quarterbacks' success and getting them up to speed. All right, Rocky, what do you think they do here? Third and three. They throw in or run it? Look, I, I think with Lynch in the game, right now, Jaden Cradle is averaging 3.9 yards per carry. They need three yards. I think they hand this football off. A bit too fancy here. And just the fact that Lynch is in the game makes me think it's going to be a run as well. Maybe it's some sort of keeper to him. He was throwing a lot in the break, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Third and three. Lynch is going to throw this thing. No, he's not. He's running for it. And he's bumped out of bounds, and he won't get there. That was Ryan Selig who pushed him out of bounds for a gain of one. I just can't tell you how much I dislike that call right there. Do a boo leg, get your quarterback deep, a one-man route to the outside. I, I, I think you just pound that ball up the middle with Jaden Cradle, or if not, Keep, have a quarterback keeper to the outside. You just don't give yourself an, uh, that much room for success with that play call. That'll bring on the punter, Tom Foley. Fair catch called for by Sambucci. What a women's basketball game we've got for you on Friday. We got the number one team in the country defending national champs, South Carolina, led by Aaliyah Boston. They'll take on Diamond Miller and the 17th ranked Maryland team in College Park. You know this is going to be a good test for both these teams. Coverage begins at 6 Eastern on ESPN2 and the ESPN app. I mean, this is one of the best times of year. College football winding down, approaching the playoffs, <laughs> conference, tur uh, tournament time. We've got college basketball got going, Game NBA basketball, yeah. NHL. I mean, this is Pro sports football. fans yeah, delight. Yeah, NFL, right. right, exactly. How am I forgetting about the monster? <laughs> so the Broncos get the ball back. They start from their own 26. Trying to stretch it, eventually being brought out of bounds is Sean Tyler, Javon Bird there on the tackle. Up to Western Michigan, like to go on a nice long drive here, right? Choose some of that clock up, get some first downs. You know, maybe start to make Northern Illinois use some of those timeouts. Or excuse me, Northern Illinois, yeah. Northern Illinois used one timeout on their last drive, so they have two timeouts to play with here with seven and a half to go here in this fourth quarter. Defense creeping up in the box. They're expecting a run. Western Michigan passes. What a throw. What? Corey Crooms with the reception. A pickup of 11. Tracen Borgay. I don't know how he does it. He must practice his throwing into some little buckets. He has put some passes on a literal dime tonight. I mean, there is absolutely no room for errors out there. Watch this. Just sneaks. I don't know how he did it. Wow. Confidence, uh, young number two. How about the play call too? The defense—they thought it was run all the way. I, they're catching Northern Illinois playing a lot of outside coverage, so those slants breaking to the middle of the field have been open. Crooms to the outside, lowers oh. his shoulder. How about the wide receiver delivering the blow? Hey now, now get your team fired up. You got your wide receiver lowering his shoulder. Lowering the boom on the defense. Mm, that's good stuff. I love it. Putting Jordan Gandy on the seat of his pants. Corey Kroom. Weight room. <laughs> Second and one for Western Michigan. To the ground. And it's going to be close, but I think a little short for Sean Tyler. Just does get back to the line of scrimmage for no gain. Third down. So here we go. We got Western Michigan bringing in two offensive linemen. They're going to go with a heavy set here. I don't think there's going to be any secret what they're going to try to do here. And this ball off to Sean Tyler. Big boy formation for Western Michigan on third and one. And he does get the yard. First down 
for the Broncos. Picked up two. Keeping the drive alive, and the clock continues to tick. So bring the extra offensive lineman and just, just punch that thing up the middle. For Sean Tyler, he is now over 100 yards on the ground. He's got 101 rushing yards, an outstanding performance for Tyler. Yeah, look, we've talked a lot about Jaden Crater, who's had a splendid night, but let's not forget Sean Tyler and what he's contributed here this evening. The clock runs ticking under five minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Northern Illinois hoping to get the ball back. Borgay throwing the slant incomplete. That pass was broken up by C.J. Brown. Let's not forget what's still on the line here. If you're Western Michigan, you come in, you're three and six. You've got three more games with this game tonight. Mm -hmm. You win out, you become bowl eligible. Bowl eligible, yeah. I mean, look, talk about. You know, this team that's coming in has lost three of their last four. You pick up a win tonight and take that momentum and get a couple more, and <laughs> with how that season's gone, find a way to get bowl eligible, that's big. Three wide receivers set, second and 10. To the ground, going nowhere. Jaden Dolphin, a huge tackle for a loss, a loss of four. And called Jaden's Jane Dolphin's name much now. He had 16 tackles, a forced fumble, and a pass breakup last week. There is in the familiar screen. He's just unblocked. Unblocked, and he hits it. Creates a negative play. An absolute must stop here for Northern Illinois. Forcing incompletion. You're going to get the ball back with plenty of time. Play clock's at four, third and 14. Pressure off the edge. They pick up the pressure pretty well, but that's just too much time. Sack, Nick Alvarado. Devontae O'Malley also in there. And crunch time, they bring the pressure. Nowhere to go for Trayson Borgay. I love that call there. Excuse me, that was O'Malley all the way. That was his sack, the fourth sack for Northern Illinois. And with 3.30 to play, the Huskies look like they will get the ball back. Get the ball back. Got two timeouts. Fair catch called for. With two timeouts. Northern Illinois down by four, 313 to play. We know you're not going anywhere. Come on back. We make sit down chicken, stand up chicken, backyard chicken, oops chicken, lots of time chicken, no time chicken. If there's one thing we know, it's chicken, chicken, and chicken. More choices, more wow, more to love. Tyson. I'm the team mascot, and boy, am I running late. But I got lead in my foot and spirit in my fingers. <laughs> Woo! Oh, what a hit. And if you have cut rate car insurance, the cost to cover that might tank your season. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> If you're loud, be louder. If you stand out, stand strong. And if you got the devil on your shoulder, take him for a ride. The future. The way you see it is said to depend on where you sit. At Xchair, we think it also gets down to how you sit, which is why our technology is light years ahead. Xchair has done it again with our groundbreaking LMAX technology, providing hours of infinite comfort no matter where in the world you're sitting. By synthesizing the universe's elements, bringing hot, 
cold, and touch into one extraordinary seating experience. Our mission is to help you discover that every workday can happen with body and mind in an out-of-this-world place of comfort and productivity. XChair is charting a new course, helping workers everywhere find comfort as their work world zoom back and forth. Even though your work reality may continue to shift, we've got our eye on the future of work so you can focus on the present. At XChair, we're gazing ahead. And from where we sit, the future still feels good. Visit xchair.com to find out how you can own an X-Chair for only $20 a month. xchair.com. Everyone is ready for Monday Night Football. The Washington Commanders meet the Eagles. And it's crunch time here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. 3.13 to play. Western Michigan with a four-point lead. It looks like they're going to go with Justin Lynch the rest of the way. How about this? In close games decided by eight points or less. Last season, this was their bread and butter going seven and three. But due to all the injuries, one and four this season, can they pull it out down by four? Remember last year they had Rocky Lombardi. And tonight, Nevin Kremerskoli started this game, but two second half interceptions. Looks like they're going to go with Lynch. Lynch with a hole on the left side. He's got a blocker in front. Lynch still on his feet. Inside the 30, pushed out at the 20. Justin Lynch with a spark for Northern Illinois. A huge run on first down, picks up 52. And you can tell Thomas Hammett wants to keep it safe right now. Let's keep this ball on the ground. Zone reading and the quarterback keeper he breaks a tackle. Look at the wide receivers blocking downfield. Gets his tight end. Tavis with a nice block. There you go. Lynch again. What do you think about this quarterback change? You have Nevin Kremiscoli, who started this game through two interceptions, and yeah. now they go to Justin Lynch to end this. I mean, he started off the half with a touchdown, but then five plays interception, a three and out, five plays interception, three and out. So I think right now they're saying, look, we're going to put this ball in the hands of Lynch, a little bit safer. Looks intent to keep this ball on the ground most of the way here. That was the longest run Western Michigan had allowed on first downs all season. 52 yards. Lynch keeps it himself. He's got a hole on the right side. Takes a huge hit by Bryson Garner. But he shakes it off. Picks up nine. Another first down. <laughs> Looks like Lynch just says, look, I'm going to keep this ball in my hands. He's running tough right now. Under two minutes to play in the red zone at the five. It is first and goal for Northern Illinois. Gotta think this is gonna be a handoff to Cradle here. Get him back involved. Lynch has runs of 52, 7, and 9. He keeps oh. it himself. Touchdown, Northern Illinois, but we do have a penalty flag. Will the touchdown stand for the Huskies? Holding 82 offense. Wow. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Replay. First That's down. the tight end. Kristen Tavis called for the hold. So that'll take the touchdown off the board. So we've seen Western Michigan, <laughs> the touchdown taken off the board. Let's see if we can see he's off to the left there. So it'll back him up to the 10. First and goal. Handoff, Cradle. And he picks up two. All right, Rocky, take another look at the hold. It probably was a pretty good call. A lot of jersey being tugged out here. Yeah, right there. You see the left hand. Anytime, you know, you, you can grab a cloth here, but if, if you, as soon as you get extended away from your body, it's just <laughs> the, the official's eyes just go right to it. They're drawn to it. So it turns out that was a pretty good call there. And this officiating crew has done an outstanding job all night long. Clock continues to tick. One minute to play here in this fourth quarter. Quarterback run all the way. Lynch. Oh, baby. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. 
Lynch would not be denied an eight yard touchdown run. No, they call it nine. And Northern Illinois back on top. Statement drive here. And that was Lynch this entire drive. Opens it up with a huge gain around the left side. And you just got the feeling, John, he was saying, look, I'm keeping this ball. I am going to put this team on my back and punch this thing in for the touchdown. Richardson, his extra point is up and good. Our sixth lead change of the night. Northern Illinois back up by three. Justin Lynch going to work. Justin Lynch putting this game and this team on his shoulders, gonna punch it in for the touchdown. We got a barn burner here in Kalamazoo. I tried everything to remove fabric odors, but my clothes still smelled until I finally found new Downy Rinse and Refresh. It doesn't just cover odors, it helps remove them up to three times better than detergent alone. Find new Downy Rinse and Refresh in the fabric softener aisle. For every holiday, for everyone. Ritz, a taste of welcome. Men put their skin through a lot, day in, day out. That's why Dove Men Body Wash has skin strengthening nutrients and moisturizers that help rebuild your skin. Dove Men Plus Care, smoother, healthier skin with every shower. This week is your chance to try any Subway footlong for free. Like the Subway series menu. Just buy any footlong in the app and get one free. Free monsters, free bosses, any footlong for free. This guy loves a great offer. So let's see some hustle. Cut. I've never watched Patrick's practice jersey. Superstitious. Hey, no need to get that personal. State Farm personal price plan it just helps you create an affordable price. Ugh. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. That's my friend Jess. Because she's a debt savvy queen, she has an upgrade card. It rolls everything she spends money on in a month into a single easy installment loan. Get your upgrade card at upgrade.com. For the visionaries. For the trailblazers. For the last to leave. And the first to think ahead. There's Granger, supplies and solutions for every industry, with access to trained experts and 24/7 support. Call ClickGranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. I love Made In. I love what Made In represents. With the product, you could tell that there's extreme craftsmanship. You would think a pan is a pan until Made In came along, and I went, wow, these things are something better. I use Made In both at home and here at Craft in New York City. They're beautifully made and will help you take your cooking to the next level. Those are the pans that we use at Alinea. We're going to have the best pans in the world at one of the best restaurants in the world. And Dimebacks are mighty poisonous. I should get you to a doctor. Uh, real cattle herd don't need no doctor. Let's drive this herd. It's okay to ask for help. Find a licensed therapist at BetterHelp.com. Quarterback Justin Lynch only played four plays last week. On that last drive, he used four rushes, 52 yards, seven yards, nine, and a nine-yard touchdown run to put Northern Illinois back on top, 24-21, with 56 seconds to play. It was a 77-yard drive, and he had 73 of those 77 yards all on the ground. Just a really impressive drive. You, you love to see a player just say, look, hey, game's on the line here. I'm going to put this thing on my shoulders here and deliver, and he did. A short catch, short kick, fair catch is called for. You know, before that drive, there was a key third down we came out of timeout with. Rocky Lombardi was playing catch with Justin Lynch. He faked us out because we he had us believing that he was going to throw the ball. He, he did, and I think it was purposeful. I think he was trying to set a little deception out there, get Western Michigan think he's going to throw, but no, he's going to run it. 
and he can run it real well. Fake downhill in there, and he's got some speed to the edge, and he was just not going to be denied. You, you knew he was going to put that ball in his hands, pound it in for the touchdown. And he did that with no Andre Carter up front on defense for Western Michigan. Now the Broncos with their last chance, 56 seconds, all three timeouts to play with. Borgay taking a deep shot down the sideline. Oh, almost picked off. We do have a penalty flag behind the play. That was C.J. Brown in coverage as they were looking for Anthony Sambucci. Let's see what the flag is, but personal foul. Roughing the pass. Wow. Number five. The defense. Wow. Blow to the head. 15-yard penalty for the previous spot. Automatic. First down. Free 15 yards and a first down. Very fortunate for Western Michigan. Borgay got lucky here because he thought it because it was man coverage, but it was called two man. They had two high safeties over the top. Wait a minute. That was rough in the passer. Wow. Wait, wow. no, 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 no. I need to see that again. What the 48 seconds to play. Crossing route complete to Crooms as he enters Northern Illinois territory. A gain of 16. Western Michigan needs a field goal to tie it with 43 seconds to play. 16 yards and you don't have to use one of your two timeouts. Getting out of bounds. Borgay is dropped, ball is out. Here comes another penalty flag. Western Michigan falls on top of it. Let's really see what this field. penalty is. As Addison West recovers it for the Broncos. Now on that first roughing the passer, it did look like Borgay might have had a hand to the face, but not much. Let's see this one. On the offense, number 77. 10 yard build from the previous spot. Replay. First That's step. a hold on the center, Jacob Gideon. Well, here it is. You can see the penalty, but we're fortunate to get back on that ball. That thing was popped out. So the third hold of the game called against Western Michigan. Western Michigan. Tim Lester not happy with it. Let's take a look at that roughing the passer. No, we're going to hold off here. 36 seconds to play. Western Michigan does not want to take a timeout. The clock to start. On my whistle. So after the 10 yard holding penalty, it'll be first and 20 for Western Michigan. Borgay passes batted down incomplete. OK, now let's go back to that roughing the passer that was called. Let's see if there's contact here in Borgay. Please set the game clock to 28 seconds. Thank you. Ball is out. He gets hit on his shoulder, maybe around his chin. Look, I like hit his shoulder, but then came onto his face, man. I, I just could have gone without that call, there, Got it. right? I mean, you know, I know they're very particular about the hands of the face anymore, but I, I just think in this situation, you, you can't call it. 28 seconds to play, second and 20. Borgay reloads, and now he's dropped. Ivan Davis, the huge sack for the Huskies. I'm out. And a timeout, Western Michigan. Western Michigan. He's all the way on the left side of your screen. All the way through, back around to the A-gap on the right side and comes right into the lap of Trayson Borgay. What an incredible defensive line call there by, by Nick Benedetto and Derek Jackson, the two defensive coordinators. We've seen a few times tonight, right? We're just bringing that defensive end from one side all the way back around to the opposite side A gap, and it's been free. Five sacks on the night. 
for this defense from Northern Illinois. Coming up next, 30 for 30, Pony Express. 21 seconds to play, third and 27. Rocky, man, this has been a fun game. Fun game. This is what Maction's all about. Five lead changes. Six. Four, six, that's right. With Lynch punching it in. Nothing behind you if you're Northern Illinois, nothing. A free rush, they're gonna try to set up the screen. Incomplete pass for Tyler. And Western Michigan down to fourth and a mile. And this is that situation where you, you, how many do you rush? Do you just rush three? Do you rush two? Keep everybody back. And Bourget, he's got an arm on him. He can get this ball down the field. But again, same thing. Northern Illinois, absolutely nothing can get behind you here. Have to get to the 34-yard line for a first down. They bring pressure. They bring the heat. Bourget trying to get it off, and he's sacked. <laughs> I love the call there. That's guts. Don't let him sit back there and camp and buy time and wait to throw one down the field. No, go ahead and bring six. And they get another sack. Excellent. The sixth sack of the night for Northern Illinois defense. High fives all around. Take a look at this last play. Well, you bring a linebacker from depth. You bring the defensive back off the backside here, and it's just chaos and nowhere for Borgay to go with the football. That was Nick Love Alvarado it. taking down Borgay at his feet. A season high, six sacks on the night, and that'll do it. Wow. Northern Illinois Maxim. came in at one and four of the MAC, decimated by injuries on their fourth quarterback. They go without their two starting running backs, and they come away with a 24 21 win. And they needed both quarterbacks to do it. You know, Nick Kramerskoli had a nice first half, not so much in the second half. They bring in Lynch, who, with his legs, really did the job there, got the score, and then the defense answered. How about the coaching job by Thomas Hammock at Northern Illinois? A tough season, dealt a tough hand with injuries, but they're still fighting. Northern Illinois using six lead changes tonight. The last one was the difference. A 24-21 win over Western Michigan. For my partner, Rocky Boyman, our outstanding ESPN crew on hand here in Kalamazoo. I'm John Schriffen saying good night. Northern Illinois is a winner. How about some action?